Yo, you look weird, man. No, come back. No, you, you look weird. Yeah, you're like so much weirder now. That's crazy, let me touch you. Are we are we are we spinning and, and pooping and butthole spinning? town? Why did why did the last two relate? Wait, excuse me? Why does butthole town relate to rolling? Butthole town? Yeah. What do you think this podcast is? <laughs> that was gonna be our name. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it was too close to another similar town themed uh -huh. podcast. Oh, All right, we oh, can't be that yeah. yeah. The town of <laughs> We couldn't the yeah. Town of we would the, get sued. The village. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That'd be the <laughs> That is more eloquent, isn't it? Uh huh. It's kind of like they. It's like they are. You know, that they is, like get together on Sundays and they like make bread together and they just. That's that's just posh come town. Posh come town. Yeah, yeah it's just that's all come town and posh. The accent. British version. <laughs> yeah. That would have been hype. We could have named it that. They would have sued us. It would have been the new Depp Herd trial. They wouldn't have sued us. They're too cool yeah. to sue us. But, but also imagine, too lazy. there's no way that. Yes. Can be bothered also there. that. Imagine Savros on the stand. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't just laugh. I know, that's, not, I, that's not even close. I'm too close to watch You're going to need to talk closer into that bear. That's for you, and that's your bear. I want you to know that. I don't that. know what that means, my bear. What does that mean? Oh, it's your microphone. <laughs> that's what we call it. A bear. Yeah. Why were you cool with butthole town, but all of a sudden bears throwing you off? I just don't understand. I you're an Australian. You've had people come to your country and lie about drop bears. Yeah. yeah Why yeah, would you lie about that? I didn't do it. You, you've all collect. You're all collectively in on it. You're it all is, implicit. It is the best thing. To have you of, done it? Have you? I have done it. <laughs> wow. In, in China, to like when we we're staying in like a backpackers hostel, just you would tell all the Americans, and they were so concerned. They were just like, you can tell. <laughs> I mean, the trees. They were so gullible. You could say anything about Australia. It's like, yeah, sometimes the ground just like cracks, and you fall into the abyss, and then you're like chosen <laughs> on dead. And then it's like, uh, they're that's like, no idea. way. That's kind of kind of good. The yeah. first time, it's the like, first time I heard about it, everybody had me going, and then they tried to push the bit too far. And somebody yeah. in the group of people I was with tried to convince me that the Kanga ogre existed, and I'm like, okay, so none of this is real. Like, Do you know that one? <laughs> no, no, no. This was an on the spot one. They just made it up, like within that group. Surely Kanga but ogre was. They were well like, yeah, out. the Kanga ogre is like somewhere in the bush, like. <laughs> but you barely have to do that because if you've seen the pictures of the ca the red kangaroos that get fucking jacked, yeah, yeah. like yeah. really big. And they fucking beat up people's dogs and fucking assault do. children. There's like. some there's some video I saw a couple weeks ago. It's this guy. His dog is getting attacked by a kangaroo, and the guy just the kangaroo's standing up, so they're eye to eye, and the mm. guy just decks oh, the kangaroo. Oh, see, yeah, that's yeah. a classic, classic like yeah. old yeah. video. Yo, yeah. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well hey. welcome to the yard, everybody. Episode fifty four. Who are you? It's hey, Nick, how's it going? I don't know your name. I don't know your name. Anthony. Alex. Nice to no, meet you. I didn't know your name either. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, well, yeah, well, now you're introduced to each other. Whoa. This is great. Well, yeah. you, your intro, your first intro was kind of fucked up. Th this yeah. is our friend Josh who plays Melee. He's a Fox player. <laughs> from Josh, everybody. So I, I walk into the house and, uh, and I haven't been here in a couple of days. And Alex? Yes, yep. Alex. He just said it to I you. Why are you looking I'm at me? I'm trying to remember. He said it to you. Because you called him Nick, and that really fucked well, me yeah, up. Because I imprinted like a baby goose. He's sitting in Nick's chair. Yeah. So, I so, Nick. so Nick is hitting, is squatting in front of the, in, like in front of the, the bin where the cat is now, because uh -huh. there's a cat bin now. Uh -huh. And I only <laughs> see the back of this person who looks like a tall, dark haired person. And I'm like, oh, that's Josh who's staying with us. And I say, what's up, you rat? Yeah. Stands up and it's a different Australian guy. <laughs> We've never met. So I've never met. Australian. Yeah. <laughs> and and he starts he starts smiling. I'm like <laughs> I just assumed you were a very confident guy. I was just like, oh, he knows I'm Australian. The first thing he does is call me. I was yeah, like, sick. Like, yeah, but turns no. out you're just racist. No, yeah. you're yeah. Like an identity. <laughs> you yeah. just brought me over, and then he brought me over, and he's like, he's like those people always, <laughs> always bending over in front of cat bins. Yeah, I, I, racist I, uh, about it. It is. You do skulk around like. <laughs> it, we actually had to make him wear shoes this whole time. It was. It, it's like did not work. Let the piggies <laughs> fly. He's letting the piggies fly. <laughs> So what the fuck is he doing here? I did a thing. He's well. He's in the United States. You you can you can say it. I'm you, here. You beat the I shit out of on one out. punch a man in the face. Yeah, you beat. And I did it. And now I'm just still here. Were you in the boxing thing? Yeah. I did it? not watch it. So I am. I okay. Here, let me contextualize. I have no idea who you are, what you do, what your content is like, <laughs> and also who you fought and if you won. Oh, you were the guy who was like in the fight, right? 
Yeah. And the fight, yeah. the ref. Yeah. Okay. I'm down to roll the clip. I don't know if you hate watching it. No, no. I'll watch hey, we it could again. get Jamie to pull the clip. It's <laughs> Zipper, can you pull can you pull up odd one out getting his shit rocked one time for the one? <laughs> it's okay that we say this. He has so many toys in Target. He makes yeah. so much money from his toys. He's a fucking You beat up a Wait, toy what YouTuber? He, what toys yes. does he make? Yes, he, he's younger than me. Was he Board nine? Games, what plushies. the fuck is this? He was 11. So, <laughs> feel like. It, yeah, and that is the statute. <laughs> a little tougher. A little tougher like. That is the statute of limitations. <laughs> why, why this person? Okay, let me ask you. Were you chosen to like... Choo like fight this person or did you choose them or no, we weren't allowed to choose because that would be fucked up in boxing if you could just be like that guy true like, yeah yeah that. but i think they matched us up because we they thought we were the most similar in height weight and ability um and i think in weight we were very similar we were like one pound different um but you know to be fair i i did like a bit of a, a water sneaky water cut where i probably dropped like seven pounds to get there and probably put that back on so i was probably like Eight pounds Shit. above him. You had the trash bag on. You were spitting in a bucket for yeah, a week. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah. But then it was just like, I mean, I don't know what happened on the night, but it, it wasn't that equal. So like, wait, is I this person as tall as you? No, he's, I think he's 6'1 or 6'2. And I'm like 6'6". Six, six, this is you? Yeah. You this, jacked. You look yeah. great. He, you work out all the time, huh? He, he was the <laughs> only person to walk up in khakis. Yeah. And, oh, uh, you look so money. It's Steve fucking Irwin, son. <laughs> <laughs> and then Otto and out, like he's ripped, right? Like he's like a nice body, yeah. but he also has like a like a ripped American dude's body. So he's like, you know, there's like a little yeah. bit of flaw there. Some, yeah, he's got some processed I mean, sugars we're, going we're, on. We're different bodies. His weight is, you know, centered more down here. And you look like the average Australian. <laughs> Were you were you training a lot for this? Yeah, I was doing like five five days a week Ooh. for like six months. Oh wow, six I think months. This is where I let yeah. Oh yeah, Dude, he took one. Is that stagger step? Ugh. We're watching it live now. Auto and out looks to the ref and says, "I'm no, I'm good to fight." And then this this is I love this part where you just kept punching him and then looking at the ref like, well, "Oh come on, no, <laughs> dude, this is so funny." What are you in the khakis? <laughs> what are you yelling at him? Well, I was like, I think at first I was like come on, like, stop this or something along those lines. Because in Australia, like, if you hit someone and they stagger, they have to stop the fight for eight seconds. Yeah. And the fact that they didn't do that, I was just like, what, what, what is happening? Like, why do I have to keep hitting this poor man? <laughs> yeah. Like, I wasn't prepared for this. And the last one, I think it's coming up here. Like, I heard a fucking snap in his face. Oh. Oh! It was like, and I could feel, even through my gloves, what he's like contours of his oh, bones oh, felt like. And then I literally went back to the shit. change room and was like, I felt like throwing up. I was like, I don't feel like I've won. Oh my like, God. Yeah. It yeah. The ref fucking... definitely heard it and called it off within three seconds. <laughs> it was fucking so you, brutal. So you, you mentioned Australian boxing rules. Does that, does that mean you've boxed before? Uh, no. So just during training. I oh, got it. So got I've been it. training for six months. I did a bunch of um, sparring, which is fucking horrible. Um, and that was where, yeah, I learned that rule. Because I've been the one that that's happened to. Like, you get yeah. Hit and you go, like that. <laughs> and like, sure. So you felt really bad. You went back to the changing room and now you'll never box again. And now I will box again. Oh, that's yeah. a different ending. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. At first I was like, I'm never doing this again. But then when I realized I now have like no extreme meaning in my life. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, that was kind of nice having this. Where's my value when I don't punch, man? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're activating your primal like monkey brain that says like to destroy the enemy to to win all the berries. It's a, it's like exactly. a very like survival based goal for six months because it's, it's like nice. I have to train to make sure I don't get my ass beat on that stage in front of it's, everyone. It's so nice. Like yeah. it's that simple. It's like everything else becomes so much easier. You just like yeah, this doesn't matter. I can do this. Like even walking out, like I've never been in front of a crowd before and coming out in front of the crowd, I wasn't scared because I was like, well, I'm about to get punched in the face, which is much scarier. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I feel like they should implement that into more things. Like, you know, if you're <laughs> doing crowd stuff, like, just yeah. Man so there, right like, after like, uh, like you have like a student project they had to present in the front of the class, they're going to fight the teacher. Yeah. That yeah. way they're not scared of the presentation. The presentation's like they're, amazing. They're worried about Mr. McGillicuddy giving you a fucking right hook. <laughs> He's a roundhouse kicker. It's kickboxing <laughs> yeah. with McGillicuddy. I like, I like the idea of like an Imagine Dragons concert. And if it sucks, like one fan just gets to beat the shit out <laughs> yes. of the lead singer. Yeah. That's just that any, that's every pressure. concert they play radioactive at. 
Yeah, they get one. They, they get, get one guy. Yes, <laughs> one <laughs> one the, the member of the el- band elects one person to stand up as their champion <laughs> to fight Imagine Dragons. They can Dragons. have like a big wheel on stage, and then with one band member on each panel, and just <laughs> <laughs> who is it tonight? That's who gets to fight. And sometimes it's a poor fucking sound guy who's just got some headphones in. He's like, oh, me? Fuck, again? <laughs> Come on. He's got a black guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sound guy's been picked like far, five nights in a row. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, we might need that. Trash tasted a, a live podcast in London yesterday. Not nah, nah. A guy comes up from the crowd just on stage to text to him. He didn't like do anything. He was just a troll. Okay. But he just sat there annoyingly for like a minute and just he was like and then he's like, Oh, I'm gonna leave. Then he ran off stage, jumped and then stumbled and his pants fell down. He saw his butt crack. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. That is a great joke. That's, it was, that's, that's <laughs> a great bit. Uh, Everybody <laughs> applauded and there was a standing <laughs> ovation after the butt crack. Wow, yeah. that's God intervening. Yeah. Saying no, don't do this. So anyway, <laughs> we need to train to fight someone when we do an IRL yard podcast. Yeah, I mean, well, it's also, we're in America, right? So it's a little more dicey. Sure. You know, mm-hmm. it's it, sometimes, you know, you can't punch, you can't punch a bullet. Yeah. I mean, you can try. He, he might, he might. You could. <laughs> Let me ask you, have you ever been in a fight like before this, like real life? So I've never thrown a punch, but I've been in probably like four or five fights, not like just my mates are being dickheads when we're out. Schoolyard stuff. Not even schoolyard stuff. Just like eight after we were like, when we would go out in the city. And they would just pick fights with people and then they would start fights and I'm just there like, you know, I, I don't want to fight, but now I'm dragged into this. Yeah. And like, but I've never thrown a punch, but I've just. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. Stop. Stop, Stop it. Stop. And then they're just Stop. hitting your hands. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, leave me alone. Like, Did you work out before this thing at all? Did you like, were you fairly active or? Yeah. Like I've done a lot of rock He's climbing. He's fucking Australian, dude. It's not. Rock climbing, they're not. Look, it's like asking a European if they speak two languages. It's not worth asking. <laughs> You know the answer. It's every yes. Australian works out. Yes, I'm every Australian lives an active lifestyle. Are the other Australians in the house? Are they active as well? No, they're gamers. Oh, they're well, gamers. well, there's just yeah. one right now. They're in the gamer zone. He's, he has much less lean muscle than you. Okay, but he's about. The, well, he's really tall. Yeah, like I think Josh is. Josh is one inch shorter than he is. One inch shorter. Yeah, you Have got you the chart. Me? When did you measure me? You said you were six four, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, maybe when I you had a little. Easy. Yeah. And does do that. <laughs> and also, I was like watching a lot of your videos before, and I was kind of like doing the math at my computer. He'll know, you know your dick length so. by the end of this. Just, yeah, just yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah with pull, it. You know how some people at like carnivals are really good at guessing weight. I can like guess dick length like that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. It. yeah. yeah plus or plus or minus half a centimeter. Yeah. So that was that was, that was rough. Australia. That was rough. Uh, what? You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> this, this guy gets it. Your first two were knockout. I want you to know. This guy gets it. Have bro. you met any American with a good Australian accent yet? Yeah. When we were at the after party of Creator Clash, Ted Navision actually does. No, a really good one. Oh, maybe it was only good because he said Centrelink, which is like Cena- which my is- Centrelink hasn't come through. You yeah. like you like the chats? <laughs> Sorry, the chats? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, is that where he learned it? Uh, that's where I learned it, but he uh, probably learned it from something more cultured. So I didn't know that anyone knew about it. So when he said that, I was just like, fuck, this guy's like good. But maybe it just tricked my brain and the rest wasn't Yeah, good. I mean, <laughs> I could talk about the doll and then, you know, you think that I'm pretty good. You're right. I, <laughs> I, I, lean, I lean toward uh, New Zealand too much, I think, because I like Fly to the Concords. So it kind of gets that little like uplift spice yeah, on I it. I want you to know like a hundred New Zealand's watching don't claim you right now. They're watching like I'm not no. saying that they claim me. Because they're too busy shagging sheep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know the insults as well. <laughs> yeah, so sheep also, shagger. my favorite one. I taught this to uh to to point crow this weekend was munt. Yes. Yeah. What is a munt? Are you the throwing up. Well, you just say you munted. Yeah. Oh, like, fucking munted. I didn't munted. know. That just munted. Sorry, I munted like... on your mom. She was fucking rotten. Why away. would you munt on his? <laughs> what happened? She was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> like she trash. was throwing up in the toilet, and then I tried to, throw <laughs> yeah. I tried to the shoot it in between man, her, like... but I couldn't do it. Uh, I know about uh, other Australian things. I know about scomo. I know that labor is in. Do you know our current prime minister? No, <laughs> yeah, Al- Albanese. I just know about Scomo. What's the what's and the situation? I, and I know about John Barilaro, who yes. is Who's not that? in office anymore. Yes. What? Have you been watching Friendly Geordies? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I kept yeah, up with all that. Yeah. So. What 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 is uh what's John Barilaro? He, he's Bana- a, banana. How would you describe he, it? He was a the kind of premier of New South Wales, and he just basically did a bunch of dodgy shit. Just like kind of like I'm sure all politicians here do it, but just like. 
moving money around so their friends get it for certain yeah. projects and paying mm. way too much for shit and then not and only then, politicians but business owners yeah that's expected dodgy shit yeah. <laughs> there's this guy there's this guy friendly Jordy's, and he has like a news he has like a news channel that yep. he's like fairly left-leaning like makes uh political content is he the in guy australia sits in front of a window yeah, no, I don't think so. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no I get it. I no. get it. Yeah, he's like, no, no window for sure. <laughs> but he tried it. He tried to have friendly. Friendly Jordy's is basically like a YouTuber, like a journalist, right? And he tried to have. He had uh, Jordy's assistant like arrested. Yeah, and that, that by the secret police, yeah. it was insane. Like it was this whole story of like somebody being unlawfully detained because he didn't mm. like what he was saying about him online. Did he make a YouTube video about it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and YouTube it went huge. Like it made mainstream Australian <laughs> and, news. And I it think. was insane. It was just like this. It, it just made no sense. Like the police were involved, but then he there was a defamation case, and basically, uh, Barilara was suing uh, Friendly Geordies. For saying that the judge kind of most mundane stuff. He's got a fat dick, and that was in the court case. And with the defamation case, you have to prove that that's not true. Oh, right. Oh, so he has to prove that he doesn't have a fat dick for it not to be. Wait, was court. this being said as an insult? It was just a joking insult. And like, this was all part of it. And then, but he lost the case. But well, you know, fucking gets you instant demonetized on YouTube, right? You, oh, surely you've forgetting. discovered yeah, this. Well, I've realized, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I have one video I use it in age restricted. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It gets your video insta demonetized. It's like they because the auto detection finds it. it happened to uh, abroad in Japan, but it also got Minx's channel totally demonetized. The whole channel? Fuck yeah. Because yeah. she's what? Irish, so she would just she rip just it on stream it, yeah. nonstop. The highlights would have it. It happened in enough videos that they're like, okay, most of your videos aren't getting monetized. We're gonna demonetize your whole channel. Which just gets it way less recommended. Yeah. And then she was like basically shadow banned on YouTube. Did she have to like it. appeal? Did she get it fixed? I, I mean, she's going to sue Susan Wojcicki for being racist against Irish people. Mm -hmm. It's going like all that. the way to the top, Susan. It's about time. <laughs> We're coming after your castles. Wait, no. The Irish have the castles. Yeah, we're from the castles. We're from the castles, and we're gonna find you, Susan. Find you in your in a castles. friendly way, in a non-murderous way. Don't demonetize this, Susan. No, we need that. <laughs> I would do love. Do you reckon she watches? <laughs> Dude, okay, so Dude. I did an interview with her, and I, I, uh, I watched parts of that. One. Right. Yeah. Uh, and before we did the interview, it's very thorough. Like I had to talk to her content team. There's like four or five people on it, and we had to go over like maybe the general discussions and topics. Uh. And part of the things that she wanted to do to prep was watch one of her episodes. Yep. And so she's asking like like the main contact. Um, she's like, hey, um, I want to watch an episode. What episode? And he oh, listens. Bro. And the episode before, the most <laughs> recent one that, that, that she could have listened to was a 15 minute beginning about how white women fuck dogs. And then <laughs> deep into detail about how this dog, Bruce... He's just going he's to town. He's a Rottweiler named Bruce, and he's fucking, <laughs> he's fucking white women. And she watched that and was like, "It's all true." Well, I'll come on podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, so he he knows this, and he's like, he's like, I'll, I'll find an episode for you. And she's like, "No, I'll just, no, just watch the, me most the latest recent. one. I'll watch the latest one." Dude. And so I have no idea what she's seen, but she is guaranteed watch at least the first couple minutes. I'm pretty sure she quickly pivoted because when I saw her phone, she had the clip channel open instead of the main videos. Okay, I'll watch some clips. Yeah, just, how about you know, we just get yeah. some clips out? <laughs> but she, she's always like, she's always like, I get it, like I get it, yeah, which yeah. is fair. I, I can appreciate no. that. It's a very mom thing to say. Yeah, it's but like she's you, a cool mom. If yeah. you're the CEO of YouTube, I feel like you've kind of you must have seen all corners of the platform. Yeah. You know, she would let her kids drink wine at like a dinner. Oh, oh she's cool chill mom, mom shit. Sub twenty one, chill mom, cool mom shit, cool mom shit. Yeah. Hey oh. kids, do you know about people waiting for bus? <laughs> I can't believe HR. Do called you know cringe. about people waiting for Dude, my bald no, cock The it's only thing I didn't tell them about is ever can you pull up the image. The only thing I didn't tell them about was I did this like game where I was like, "Can you guess what this emote means?" Yep. And it was and it was just like basic ass emotes, but it was all leading up to the last picture, which was a picture of this little peepo frog, and he's waiting for a bus. But it looks like he's hanging himself by a noose. The first frame of the animation looks like that. That's pretty good. Because it's the yeah. bus stop and it looks like a rope. Okay. <laughs> and I showed her that and she just goes, oh, I think he's sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's spot on. Nailed like, yeah, it for Yeah, he's taking you. public transit in America. Of course he's sad. I would not be surprised if she knew what everything means. Like, I think surely so. Surely she, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. Gets it. She's, right. she's okay. You yeah. know, she's probably fine. She's sleuthing. She's sleuthing business and then like trying to mm. be cool. Can I can I ask you what do you what like you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, oh, it's yeah. a big it's a big YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. crazy. What is what's on it? 
So I kind of just pretend I'm an Uber driver. Okay, so <laughs> I have you heard of YouTube? <laughs> <There's>, no, no. <laughs> so I kind of just make my channel's called I Did a Thing, and I was was not creative with that name at all. I kind of picked that name before I even knew my channel was going to go anywhere. But I basically just make stupid things, and I'm not. Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay. I'm not very good at making things, so I kind of try to hide it with humor. And if I'm like, if I'm funny enough, no one will notice I'm actually really shit at making shit. Um, so it's an engineering type of channel. It's kind of like William Osman, Michael Reeves, but Got it. I try to focus more on just just humor and just trying to... I think you're showing yourself short. What I think you do is you build shit no one would ever build because yeah. it's such a fucking dumb thing and dangerous thing yeah, to build. Yeah, danger's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah. Just doing... And I honestly, I don't know if I should say this anymore, but I don't know how I haven't been arrested. It's just like, you can go through every single one of my videos and be like, that's illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal. Wait, what's the most illegal thing that the Australian government could arrest you for? I don't want to say. If John was back in office, what could he get you? No, 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 sorry. When John is back in office, what will he get you with? We're on his payroll, motherfucker. My biggest video is just me making a fucking, I don't even want to say. It's just a... Is it the firearm? I don't know why I'm pushing this now. I'm yeah. like, no. In Australia, oh, me. <laughs> where, where they specifically took him away. They did take him yeah, away. Yeah. And you're like, no, I'm going to make it again. You could be really popular with 50% of Americans if you, if you came out with that story and got yeah. arrested. <laughs> Yeah. Would, I mean, I'm sure it would be only do good things for me. Yeah. yeah. Depending on how long the prison time was. Of like course. maybe up to a year. And yeah, you then can't spend you, too long in the oven. And then you, you moved know? to Texas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a celebrity. Just, dude, the, it is crazy what you can shoot in Texas. Mm. Yeah. What do you mean? I went to the. Oh, no, yeah. You can shoot like miniguns and dude, like yeah. fucking flamethrowers and shit. Fundy at this uh, Streamer Royale event was showing us this uh, video he had put together on his channel. And it was like uh, from him and Schlatt and a few other people. They were just in the desert shooting like massive guns, like mini guns, yeah. huge sniper but rifles. That's where I went. Dude, they were using this like gigantic sniper. I don't know what like model it is. It was a Baird 50 cal. Dude, when you shoot it, it's like a cannon. It shakes the whole fucking screen. Everybody like moves. It looks like it hurts you when you yeah, shoot it does. those things. Well, like, actually the B50 cal is the best because it's on the ground. Hmm. But I will say it's fucked up that you can do 360s in Modern Warfare 2. Because that bitch is heavy as shit. Yeah, no because universe. those are elite soldiers trained to frag. <laughs> yeah, they're buff in the game. Uh, yeah, we went to Ox Ranch and we shot guns because it's something that Schlatt likes to do because he's Republican when he goes live for some reason. And, uh, and <laughs> It's only ironic for now. <laughs> Until he makes too much money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Until, <laughs> the NRA has gifted 100 subs. <laughs> God. That would be a fire clip, though. Oh, God. Uh, so we're shooting the guns, but like you go up and you see a wall, and it's guns from every era, and they just have like the Nazi symbol, and then a gun next to it. And we were what? with Miachu, oh, who's German, and she's like, she was like, <gasps> she gasped. Cause like you can't even have the Nazi symbol in Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you get arrested. They, they crack yeah. down, right? Yeah. She was is, like, she was like, I forgot. What that does that okay mean? Here. Is that like if you're racist, you can pick this gun? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like, that one's calling to me. This, this one's for racist. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> you do a political spectrum test, and then you get the line of guns. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. get you get your quarter of guns. So you're <laughs> fascist libertarian. You're <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a Marxist, so I get the uh, the Garin. So, you know, no, it's, it's, uh, it's it's semi-auto. <laughs> it's who made the gun. Uh, okay. And so like the AK-47 has like the Russian flag and like the Galil has like the Israeli flag or whatever it is. And then there's just Nazi made guns. That's, um, well, yeah, I guess like the Luger. And there, there's a Volkswagen Jetta up there too. Yeah. It's just <laughs> hanging in the air. <laughs> yeah. You get to pick to drive it. They made that shit. I, I ain't forget. Uh, but it's, it's fucking great. They live there. There's like 10 people that work there. They live on the ranch. They shoot guns. Yeah, and, and they're the, all married. The funniest part Whoa. is they all unironically say bitchin. Okay. This, it, this gun's bitchin. Well, I mean, that's, that mean, this is actually a case like study in sick, regional like accents. Cool. Oh, it's just good. Bitchin', yeah. bro. Bitchin', okay. <laughs> it, which used to be a thing across the states 15 years ago. I think you're uh, underselling. You haven't traveled a lot, and also your, your whole lexicon I've is I've traveled more than you. Not around the United States, and also your lexicon is peepo frogs. The <laughs> fuck do you know about anything? This is the guy who says pog champ to Italian shoemakers. So when did that happen? <laughs> fucking dude in Italy. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's different. Did, that get you? did they understand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The et Ezio yeah. just just looked at Ludwig and said, "Aha." Uh -huh. oh, yeah, and then he took out his like wrist blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that did suck, and that's why Nick's gone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had to kill one of you. <laughs> I, I had a question for you. So I, uh, I've watched 
uh, a bunch of your a bunch of your videos from like a few years back because they yep. they used to pop up on like Reddit sometimes. So I think yeah, that's how it. I watched the the first video, and it was the one where you train lizards to eat spiders yes, in your home. Yes. <gasps> yeah, and uh, oh. that was like I watched that video. Great video, entertain the entire time. You are really funny. Yeah, okay. I think the Thank fuck. You. I had a question because back then you had this like editing style where like only your feet and hands would appear in the yep. shots, and your face wasn't present in the content at all. Yeah, I, I was wondering mm. what made you decide to change that. I think it's because when I got bigger, I realized that it was like if I actually tried to hide my identity, that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I also just wanted to be just chill about it and not care and then when i realized as soon as i yeah i got a bit bigger people were really trying hard to find it i was like it's gonna happen and then it's gonna be like a how-to basic situation mm. where i have to just constantly think about it and i was like i'm i don't care enough so then i was just just slowly started showing my face and i didn't want to do like a lame face reveal i was just like no nah. yeah it wasn't like an announcement no i was just like i'll just do it i'll just yeah. do it it's and like, you're also hot in 6'4 and ripped. Yeah, you have no that reason was, to was, hide. There's yeah. no that shame. That was a little bit part of it. Like, maybe <laughs> some girls. <laughs> Dude, do you think that... All right, so our, our, we met our, our dear Australian friend, Miles, and uh, you probably know him. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Don B. He's just, yeah. <laughs> this fox is crazy. <laughs> Chokes, though. No, but, so he's, wow. he's is, really, is Don B a Don Burke reference? No, his last no. name is Do uh, Dobney. Okay. Dobney, yeah. So it's like a uh, bastardization of that. Okay. Uh, so it, it, we, I met this guy, and he's like, I'm like, he's really funny, and he just has it. Like he was just born to riff, right? <laughs> and then I like, I met his Australian friends, like through, and all these guys and Josh who that's st staying with us, and I'm like, are they just born funnier than us? <laughs> do you think there have you thought about American humor and American like middling culture? Do you think on average you guys are just funnier? Oh, I don't. I don't think so. I think our humor is a little bit different in that the majority of the time, everything we say is sarcastic. And I think that picks up that it's very normal to just say jokes and be sarcastic wherever you are. Even if it's like a high-end event, it seems a bit more chill than America. Okay. But I think you guys, I don't know, because when I come here, I find everyone hilarious. And I think it's just because it's, it's just, you guys probably find it funny because it's a slightly different kind of humor. And that kind of that's what makes jokes yeah, funny. Kind of, isn't I was it? kind of talking about this with somebody yeah. last night. Actually, it's like you just kind of get used to like maybe your friends or your like social group, or in this case, like your your country's like larger culture, mm. making like the similar type of jokes, and so it doesn't hit as hard over time. But yep. you're just introduced some, to something fresh and new, and it's like, damn, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's like I haven't thought of that before. Who do you think is like the funniest? Uh, I guess content creator that you can think of. Maybe like, I don't know if you watch Twitch or like YouTube and stuff like that. That's hard. Like any That's streamer at all hard. actually would be good for this. Like, you mean X, X, um, yeah, X, X Twitch, Twitch streamer would, would be streamer. fine. That'd be fine. It'd be a fine reference. Can't even say it, even sarcastically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> actually, please don't. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. It's fucking, it's fucking hard because honestly, I think a lot of YouTube's fucking shit. Well, right now, really I guess, bad. it's kind of like asking what oh, you think is really bad. I think a lot of YouTube is very unfunny, like especially mainstream so YouTube. Yeah. And it's like, this is so uncreative. This is so unfunny. It's all been done before. So it's like, I, I really like a, there's a surrealist kind of comedy group called Auntie Donna in from Australia. Oh. Have you seen them? You don't like them or you like him? Hold on. You, hold on. Okay, so you're not going to like this, but our introduction to Auntie Donna was the Netflix show. The Netflix show. Yeah. No, I, it's pretty bad. I, yeah, okay. So it's someone enough. someone Australia, because we mentioned Auntie Donna in the in the last episode, and somebody in the comments from Australia was like, I know the Netflix show is bad, but these guys used to make like really good stuff. Yeah. I didn't know that. I yeah. think it's yeah. like being mad that someone said, I love Kyle Mooney because someone only saw him from SNL. Yeah. I think, but Kyle's still funny in SNL. Here's the thing. Someone recommended me Auntie Donna. I, I am such a psychopath that I, I will sometimes write down analyses of why things are funny and aren't and why they're working and stuff because <laughs> I just got a lot of time. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I was recommended this show and I watched it and I was blown away by how unfunny I thought it was. Yeah. And, I, and I was like, this can't be real. Like, I was having a crisis. Mm. I was like, because I get really angry when things like fail at being funny without, I don't know. I'm, again, a lot of time. And so, <laughs> so I watched it and I was like, fuck, this sucks really bad. And I got my friends to come watch it. <laughs> Everyone in the house. Dude, it's like I was opposite like, of normally getting someone to watch a YouTube video that you think's funny. No, yeah, because yeah. I wanted to see if I was crazy or not. I was like, everyone, watch <laughs> this shit. Am I crazy for thinking this sucks? And they're like, no, nah, it's it yeah. But you're saying the Netflix show does suck, but that is not the, the height of their power. Yeah, they've got like kind of, the, they did series on YouTube. 
they've got one i forgot the name of it it's like in a high school that whole one is is funny but i, I like because i was talking to them about the netflix series and apparently they're just like they oh, lock- you met them them themselves yeah, so i actually promoted their netflix show in a youtube video did do you remember when the monoliths were a big thing people were yeah, 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 yeah. i put a monolith up in australia with them wow to promote their their show and then only afterwards i watched their show and i was like <laughs> do like, you keep in touch uh not really so okay thank god they might see this <laughs> <laughs> it's okay so look if they're true artists they'll know they'll know I mean, know? I, yeah it, it's just hard because it's like with their comedy it's so weird that like when it doesn't hit you're just sitting there for five minutes being like that was so long and fucking i was cringing the whole time yeah it's yeah. it's high risk high reward for sure i think yeah. in the environment of a netflix show right you're just like you're kind of forced to fill time probably like yep. each episode needs to fit like a certain amount of minutes and constraints yeah. and things like that. Uh, conversely the, I think you should leave season two, which the first season I thought was really like kind of brilliant. It, even though it was the same guy just put in different situations. The second season is like 80% hard dog shit. Like yeah. hard, bad dog shit. <laughs> the, hard. the coffin, the coffin was so. The good. coffin one's great. The coffin was so. But, good. but I was just like, damn, it's it's crazy. Like this got made, and then like they they were like, yeah, we got to send it out. And I just, it's <laughs> it's hard to reconcile that in my head because you always want something to be perfect, can't do it, you know. Yeah. So, either way, how funny do you think you are? I don't know. I don't know. I would. What a rating out of ten? Is that what you want? From yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess who, like, do you think if you could be better, could you be a lot better, or are you kind of like the height of where you can your abilities, or do you think you're dog shit so you try harder? That's what I do. I don't know. It's hard to analyze yourself, yourself that much, but it's like I'm just happy if I can make myself if I can rewatch one of my clips and it makes me laugh. I'm happy. That's fine. Yeah. And usually, I like a lot of my videos. I I try to do like almost like slapsticky stuff. So like stuff like physical jokes they make me laugh the evergreen hardest. baby and it's just like if you can do something that surprises someone with a joke i'm just like yes i like that like i turn around and i just my ass is showing <laughs> and if you can get away with that on youtube i'm like it's, it's great that's great oh, that's okay. cash yeah Eat that it. that flies a lot in our house with with no youtube videos so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it always works which yeah. like, you want to show your dick it's even funny yeah. Yeah, it, it is, is. It's so it funny. is i showed your balls on stream that was hilarious that was really funny uh-huh so many people's I put a Polaroid of my balls underneath his keyboard and then I made a video about the times I've showed him my balls and then made him watch it on stream and then it said by the way if you're watching this check under your keyboard <laughs> and then he did but what he did after that with the Polaroid of my balls he stuck it to his monitor like his fucking he's at a war like my kid yeah. <laughs> like my kid graduated seventh grade yeah. I'm proud of him. and he just left it there for like a month yeah we have maids they've seen it <laughs> they know they've it was seen your balls, balls. They know it's no because it's like it's someone's balls. They could, could think be it's my balls. balls. <laughs> you know what? They've they've cleaned my room before. They might be like, oh, it's his. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you might have been sleeping balls out when they came in. Once. I would never sleep balls out on. on Maybe that they tried day. to figure it out as well. They're like they bring the, it back. The two of them in the basement. It's like, no, do you think it's Aiden's? Like, it's, <laughs> they have like one of those things. It's all our pictures. <laughs> red lines going down to the ball, <laughs> like face skin tone, yeah. skin tone, like gradients. Of like. They're asking questions every time they come through. Yeah, yeah. So like, do you like what, do you what chest you? hair? Or? <laughs> yeah. you, huh. How much do you shave? <laughs> Dude, yeah, he, he like tipped his camera down one day to like show his, something he was doing in his hands and it's just my Polaroid and it's like, oh, mm-hmm. I had to put it back mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Actually, all, uh, I forgot this. All New Zealand got mad at me this past weekend. The whole shit. So huh? like five, like five people? Yeah, about. <laughs> five people and Gabe Newell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Gabe Newell who bought his citizenship into New Zealand. I, if he threw his hat on the ground. He's Do you know about that? No. Yeah, so this is this is like a brief offshoot. Gabe Newell at the beginning of the pandemic decided to move to New Zealand and uh just paid to become a citizen. How much like 10 Like I, I, it's not publicly <laughs> no. listed, but he's it's, a billionaire, right? And yeah. this isn't like a like some countries like a few in the world let you just pay flat out wow. uh, for citizenship. This is like a uncommon thing but it's usually pretty expensive like maybe a few hundred thousand dollars um but most countries do not allow you to do this but presumably gabe hit up jarcinda on the phone and was like what if i send you a fresh hundred mil and he's just in <laughs> we don't know how much but and now they got the christchurch uh, christchurch mcdonald's brought to you by gabe mcnewell Bar- gabe <laughs> mcnewell yeah <laughs> gabe Newell and ronald mcdonald they they get, up. A, get a free gabe steam McNewell. card in your happy meal and he says welcome to the international and then he spins his bow tie <laughs> i actually love gabe newell i'm the biggest gabe newell fan 
Why? That's, I opened that's a one weird box person and got to be a fan knife. Of. Oh, that's right. Fuck yeah. you. Fuck you. Do you know? Do you up. know about CSGO unboxing? Yeah, I've never, I've never done it, but my brother did it. It made like five dollars flipping boxes. I did like, it for the first time ever in my first box. I don't want to talk to you. I bought a key for ten dollars on Steam. Turns <laughs> out they're two fifty. And it's a flat fee and he's I got so, scammed. He's so fucking dumb. You're so fucking dumb. And then I opened <laughs> one box and then it went around and I don't know, I guess it was good or something. It was like an M9 Wait, bayonet. He got a knife. It How was a was knife. It a th I guess it's a thousand dollars. Over a grand. Oh, here's the clip. Yeah. But I have seen this screen thousands of times. To be yes. fair, I spent seven fifty to get here. God, so that's fucking crazy. I Shut earned the fuck it. Up. This is so, this is so <laughs> unreal. Up. This is so unreal. Did you know it was valuable when you... This reaction, or do you react like that I, to everything? I react like that to everything, but I knew it was valuable because it was the gold thing, which is the best thing. And right uh, before it happened, I said, "Ooh, let's just get the gold thing because it's the best thing." Also, if it's not valuable, he can overreact, and then people will correct him, and it's funny. Yeah, people, that is funny. he can't. People lose. can open hundreds, if not over like a thousand of those cases, and never pull a you good item. You will make money. Get it twisted. <laughs> I thought that topic was possible. Gamble. Yeah. It's time to start investing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, I gave Newell's a hero, and... Why is New Zealand New mad Zealand's mad at me because on the top of their subreddit, it was like the most upvoted thing was a clip of me from two years ago playing GeoGuessr, and I'm just going through, and it's like, it's like, American YouTuber tries to pronounce New Zealand towns. <laughs> wow. And, uh... It is hard. It's all, like, indigenous names. Yeah. Like, like Kiwi names. Yeah, like. so I'm like, Takua, mm, maybe Auckland, and, and I'm looking <laughs> through all of them, and it's just two minutes of that. Oh. And I sound like such a dipshit because yeah. I'm like, we're probably in Great Britain here because it says Grams. You also you also, <laughs> you also, look like fucking Guile. Like you look like a stereotypical American I, I literally have bag. like- Frat a, boy, idiot, no. I'm not done. Piece of shit, annoying, <laughs> like, like just rude. Uh, ignorant, asshole, There's, arrogant. Big. I can't be mad because I literally have uh, I have this. What do you in, call this? In a goatee? In the, yeah, a in fully the video? grown goatee. Uh, as big as mine oh, can get. Oh, it's not fully grown. With the he glasses, can't. it's fully grown. He can't. It's, no, it's so very full. Can you full. grow a beard? Not at all. I just get just long so, can you find whiskers it? that are disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. I tried once. It just looks like mold growing like here, a little bit up here. <laughs> but the rest of my family can. So I'm like, maybe I just have no testosterone or something. Don't no, no. Tall, it's because you have too much testosterone. Why do I have this hair then? That's right. He knows. The, he knows how Not the chemistry guy, this works. This guy's got way yeah. too much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm crazy. Your T blockers. <laughs> so that's why they're pissed at you. Yeah, they're pissed at me because it was just it was that, and it's just me being a dumbass American YouTuber who doesn't know anything about geography. You should You should do a video where you apologize to. No, New I want to do a fucking video where I go up against all those New Zealand fucks and geoguessers because I would clown on those dumbasses. I'm way better now. I know way more about. Bro, the world. they don't care about geoguessers. They just care about the pronunciation. I think part of it is laughing at Americans for not knowing geography. Mm. Okay, sure. And I'm cracking at, at geography. You're trying, at least you're trying and you're, you're getting out of your country I'm virtually good now. I'm good and looking. Now. New Zealand's the best country though in Geoguessa because anywhere looks exactly the same. I actually know like, New Zealand from one screenshot because it's just Australia, but prettier. And yeah, that's what I say more, every time. More ferns. If uh -huh. you see ferns and those one plant with the white fluffy bit on the top, you know you're in New Zealand. Yeah. Like, so I know now and I'm a god and I will, New Zealanders, I will fight you all one on one in GeoGuessr. <laughs> mm. And my friend Alex will fight you one on one with his fists. Mm, dude, when I went back from uh, Australia, when I went to BAM like three, four years ago, the guy, I, I had to fly to Auckland to go home to LAX. And I, that was where I went through like customs. And the guy was like, uh, he was like a, a, a Kiwi, like jacked, mm. like just fucking like a Maori guy? tower of a man. Yeah, like a Maori guy. And, and he was really, really nice. And uh, he's like, oh, so what were you doing in, you know, in Australia? Oh, where were you headed? Yeah, he's like, where were you, <laughs> where you what, headed, bro? What were you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can only do it with the ease. Yeah. The yeah, that's it. And, <laughs> and he's asking me, he's like, oh, and I was like, oh, is that like a video game tournament? And he's like, oh, cool, like, like Fortnite, Fortnite? And I was like, no, it's like a different one. But yeah, it's kind of like Fortnite. And then his face just completely changes. like, did you win any money? <laughs> <laughs> and i was like no oh, no i'm not that good no i don't have I, he's like because you know if you want any money you have to tell us and i'm like whoa no 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 it's good oh, he scared the shit out of me that's terrible i thought i was getting my neck broken like a bunny and yeah then, uh, he brought you in friendly and then he hits you with the the trick question yeah because yeah. maybe you answer a little wrong and maybe shakes me down for a couple of aud <laughs> <laughs> i got terrified coming into america because I knew that your what is TSA is very strict. So I was like, okay, 
I've got a story. My story is I'm just visiting friends. So I told my mate who I'm traveling with, I'm like, we're visiting friends. Then I get to the front of TSA and he's like, why are you here? And I was just crumbled. I was just like, I mean, I'm doing a boxing match. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the most my corrupt God, sport you could ever do. I'm like, fuck, like that means I'm not meant to be here on a fucking tourist visa. Like, maybe I shouldn't be saying this now. Release this once I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> and then he was like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm watching a boxing match. He's like, <laughs> there you go. And then he's like, oh, do you have tickets? Because I'm in the boxing match. I don't. I'm like, no. And he's like, so you've come, here, you've come all the way here to see a boxing match and you don't have tickets. He was like, where is it? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it just got worse and Dude. worse and worse. Dude, did, luckily- they, did they pull you into questioning? Uh, no, I was just questioning at the front, but yeah. it was just fucking He's just bad. holding his gun the whole time. And like, I'm, I was like scared because me and Alexa, my mate, have been to North Korea. So we get put in like a, a different kind of category when we come to America for some reason. Oh, really? So I was just it like, has like a stamp on your passport that's like been to North Korea? Yeah. And they Could ask be you communist questions. Terrorist. Like, why, why did you go there? Like, And it was just like- Why did you go there? Just for fun. For fun, huh? Yeah. Just for fun. Just to know. kick it with Kim? We just wanted to kind of, you know, do some hard labor. Smash <laughs> <Yeah. you know, laughs> some stones. What's <laughs> fucked up is I, we talked about this. I found out he went to North Korea while Barack was there. While Barack Obama? Barack Obama, the former president who goes to North Korea a lot. No, Barack, the guy who got imprisoned. Dude, that's not his no, name. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, what's his name? Isn't it Barack? Uh, that's not his o- name. Otto Warmbier. Otto. Yeah. Why do I think it was Barack. Dude, we were talking yeah. about this guy last week. Dude. I forgot yeah. his name again. Otto. Brock? Do you I, not know you this guy? You were there while that guy was you there? You don't know well, this guy at all? On, he was on the same tour company as us, but oh, a, like maybe a year before. Yeah. And they warned us. They were just like, when you're in the hotel, don't steal shit. Don't touch anything. Mm. Don't. So well, I wasn't going to do that anyway. So imagine, like, imagine picking that place to fuck around you don't, and, you yeah, don't know and then guy. finding out. You know this guy <laughs> Is the person that took like the propaganda poster yeah. and ended up in jail? Yeah, and then yeah. he was so, yeah. like hard labor for 17 years, but then he got brought back and he was like literally brain but he was dead. comatose. And yeah, then he, and he died. died. Yeah. He died within no. a month of coming yeah. back. Wait. Yeah, yeah. That it is was really, it was really sad. Like nobody, it, uh, absolutely like undeserved. Nobody should be treated no. that way, right? That's fucked up. What, like, what's the country where you can't have drugs? I think it's Singapore? Singapore, yeah. 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 Dude, we, it, it, that was, Sing- you don't fuck around in Singapore. Singapore, it's like, I've always said it's like the most lucrative career must be be to like a Singaporean drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, because you're like you're, you face execution. Wait, really? Yeah. 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 For what yeah. type of drugs? Dude, anything, anything that is an alcohol. Man. You bring fucking you bring like a fucking coke or weed in, dude. They're fucking not that those are equivalent, but right. If you bring yeah, a weed no, but pen, they kill you. If you well, it's I think fun. apparently kill you. I think yeah, a weed apparently. pen is more common, but like they tell like you know young American tourists or whatever. If you go to Singapore, do not fuck around. Do not bring weed because you'll be in you big trouble. You can find drugs there though, because I wasn't trying to find drugs. But when I was in a hostel in Singapore. Like I was sick, so I was hanging out there for a while. And the owner was like, "Oh, you want to chill on the balcony?" I was like, "Yeah." And he just started smoking weed, and I was just like, "Holy oh, shit!" Fuck. That's I think scary. I think Stay maybe it might be one of those things too, where like the public messaging is that it's like really, really severe, yeah. which like discourages it, of course. But I like, I don't know. I I feel like I would have heard about like some dumb tourist being executed by this point if this that's is, a like, good point. actually followed ha- through with. Yeah, didn't they just execute a fucking guy with the? He had the IQ of like seventy. And someone, a family member or something, convinced him to be a drug mule. And the guy is, you know, could be like, uh, uh, like he's like a child. Yeah, yeah. And he did it. They caught him and they executed him. Oh, my and God. Like, in Singapore? In, it might have been somewhere else. But I think it was probably Singapore. <laughs> they, it's crazy they convinced him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like an Australian bit. That's what Australians would do to you. No, I just swallow this, lad. Swallow this. Just do a little bit of kit. Yeah. Just do a little bit of kit. That's what Australians do. Do that. They do try to get you to just do, do your normal poo, but this time catch it, and then, <laughs> and then, and then you have to sell it to me. That is know? an Australian. You make bit. a lot of money, dude. I, it's I, 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 I always remember this. Like, uh, so I was on a trip to Sydney a few years ago, and I was in. Uh, I'm I'm prepared for my Australian friends to fuck with me at this point, and we're in the we're in an Uber, and they're talking about how people uh, fucking fucking bogans will will race horseshoe crabs. And I think they're making, no, dude, no, no, no. they're making up the whole thing. And I'm like, tell me this isn't true. And the driver turns around. And he's like, it is. <laughs> we we do multiple species of crab. The pub near me does hermit crabs. And then another one does mud crabs. And it's like, it is just a thing. And you bet on them. You've got to like a little number on that thing. And they have to, it's whoever gets. Dude, it's escapes, so smooth. It's so smooth. Whoever escapes the table first. Is, dude, is, 
that that actually reminds me on this uh when we were when we were on this trip at the streamer royale uh meowry was on the bus with us and we were talking about like dumb things we had done as kids and meowry was like yeah so when i was a kid i used to catch flies and take the wings off them and then paint their butts different colors and then make them race yeah and what we were fuck? fucking dying. and we were like and it was like really early in the morning we were like Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking insane. Yeah, it was like oh, 9 a.m. on the bus, and I was like, oh my God. Like, that's yeah. By yourself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, it was, yeah. It was funny because we were, we were all talking. It was like, it was like four of the girls, and then me and Aiden, and we were being transported to the, to the, the event. And we're like, we're, me and Aiden are really tired, and we're like still trying to like make conversation. I, I'm throwing out C minuses, Aiden throwing out Ds as he does. Yeah. Talking about jokes, you know, <laughs> just trying to be, just trying to like make conversation. And then we get off the, uh, the bus, and Meowry's like, You guys are funny. What's your Twitters? And I was like, That's crazy. And <laughs> basically, I was like, we were, we were just not on our game at all, but it was enough. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, enough. Wow. She did beat your ass. In the competition, Come on, dude. yeah, because you got Chun Li thighs. I got, I got robbed. <laughs> what what I got was robbed. this competition? Of? It was uh, it Smash Amaranth's no. event. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> Imagine Amaranth did like an IRL event that was like a like a one day Survivor thing with like a bunch of mini games, okay. and then you just get eliminated if you lose the mini games. Fucking, and he made it deep in the game as the pink haired ninja. Yeah, I made it to the semifinal, which was uh, knee boarding, and then you hang on, you you knee board for basically as long as you can yeah. without falling off. And you get three rounds of kneeboarding. Um, in my first round, I hit like a wave and I fell off. And I it was like, no big deal. I have mm. two more rounds to to do this. But it was determined mid-event that kneeboarding was too boring to watch. So they switched it to wakeboarding, which is significantly more difficult. <laughs> and then I had to, like, Meowry had already maxed out the score uh, in the first round. Mm. And then I just have to try and catch up doing the harder sports and then i fucking lost so not, yeah, not okay, surprising well, ultimately you just don't have that dog in you so. i don't no so. was I she don't. better than you one to one wakeboarding <laughs> wakeboarding she didn't even have to she didn't do it you didn't have to you just no, had to knee board. Didn't even do it. wakeboarding is when you're on your feet yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how, how is this survivor though isn't survivor like you have to drink your own piss and yeah survivor might have been a better analogy it's just like it's just kind of like little games More like, like survivor challenges. and people are eliminated along okay. the way but without like the same like social and like voting yeah, like, yeah, without yeah, the okay. piss without the with piss. and no piss yeah. i had a joke Shame. i i because i was like the kind of like an on the ground interviewer for the event that's why i went and i had a joke that i didn't get to use but i was like water sports where on amaranth's channel it can mean both things <laughs> <laughs> i actually so, i don't know who this person is but i presume you don't know amaranth? amaranth no dude wow. this, this ties into my question because you to me right you your youtube channel is so disconnected from like <laughs> twitch and gaming but you've been yeah, you hanging put effort out. In. You put effort. You've in. been <laughs> hanging out with so many of like, like, like the fact that you two know each other is sort of surprising. Well, to I me. don't really know you, but I yeah. was. I forgot who told you. I think William Osmond told me that you climb. Yeah. And I was just like sick. I can climb okay, with someone okay. here, mm. but it's like nice. Yeah. Because like, how do you end up on like like Hassan stream for instance, and like hang out with these like Twitch tangential people? Like, how does your world yeah. of YouTube clash with this world? I mean, I guess it's that my like what I make is. Yeah, not related at all. But I've got another channel where I make kind of leftist content, like kind of political stuff that ties more into Hassan's stuff. Sure. So then that's why I asked him. I was like, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, well, oh, no, yeah, I think he watched one of our other videos on his stream. Yeah. And then was like, yeah, good shit. I, yeah, I think you provide out. very good react content, which naturally fits into the yep. streamer ideology I of not working hard. You oh, really? I remember you don't think you watched one of my... I fucking hate watching your videos. <laughs> Why? Why? Because he's funnier than you. No, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, t I was watching his video on my stream, and then he pops up in chat. And already I hate react content. Like I'm, I'm really bad at it. I say this openly all the time. I'm bad at reacting unless it's like 80 TikToks and I can just go, <laughs> dude, <laughs> hey, dogs. You're not, you're, a, you're not a marathon you, runner. No, you're no. A sprinter. If it's like a full video and, and like they make the video so like well edited and paced and funny, there's not much to add. I can't pause it and be like, dude, and he makes like a fucking Beyblade with giant metal blades that he pulls and then it fucking rips around a room and destroys chairs. <laughs> and I go, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then I go, and then I go, I played Beyblades when I was a kid. <laughs> you could, you could do what Hassan does, which is pause the video he's reacting to literally every two seconds. Or and then play it and go to the bathroom. <laughs> to be fair, you're much better than a lot of the streamers. Like, I, I don't want to, do you guys like Yeah, XQC? go for it, flame like, him. Like, I feel like oh, X is XQC, great. Yeah. Like I, I watched him 
react to one of my videos and it's just him going <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so and funny he just drinks some water i'm like how is this a react he's just playing my yeah. video like what the fuck is this so I, I think you're waiting for him to actually react and that's the gamba well right? i think i think he's just all about having something entertaining on screen and if he is not providing it and he is taking a break in his 12 hour marathon stream and the video is doing it by itself he doesn't feel the need to add to it but i do i'm like oh i should be adding to this and then i get self-conscious i'm like i'm not adding enough so i watch like one video and then everyone's like watch another and i think i started it and I, I was like, I, I watched like 30 seconds and I was like, I, I can't watch this. I can't add anything to this guy's videos. They're fucking fine. Just watch them by yourself. I'm not going to watch them on stream anymore. Mm. Well, I had heaps of people tell me be like, uh, Ludwig's watching your videos right now. So I popped in. I forgot what I said. Yeah. And, and it's just him complaining about your videos. Yeah. Yeah. And it's great. like, no, it's like fucking well edited. Eat shit. All right. <laughs> Have some lols, you bitch. So you, you would never watch the defunct land of Disney fast no. pass. No. Yeah, <laughs> Have right. you watched that video? Yeah, I've watched that. That shit's goaded. <laughs> that's a that's good goaded video. shit. Like, like imagine me watching uh, the line goes up the NFT video yeah, yeah. four hours and he explains everything. What am I going to add? Yeah. Yeah. You look stupid. Pause. Dude, NFTs are bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, what that guy said. Or I do the Miz, where you do, the Miz is like, like literally latching onto every word and just saying random shit. He'll just pause and be like, "Do you think I would have been friends with that guy in high school?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I know. <laughs> you should just but do that. I, it's also so fucking stupid. My brain, like, I actually I was reacting to a Sony Salt video, and I did it for like ninety seconds. I did this exact bit. I I, I pretended to be Miz. And then I stopped doing it. And then everyone was like, you know what? You're way funnier when you do when you're, when you're yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh. Because I was just going off. Anything I would just respond to. So anyway, your videos suck to react to. Let me no, check. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. I want to look at your Twitter. That's like weirdly. That's a compliment. Yeah. yeah I, I, think. Guess, kind of. I don't understand how you guys do it though. Like, like reacting to stuff live with people watching you. Like I tried once. I was like, I'll give it a trial with just people from my Discord. Right. There's like 150 people. And I was just felt like I was having a seizure. I was yeah. like, I cannot read this. I cannot genuinely enjoy this. It was just a, a mix of everything being bad. And yeah, I was, fucking just stressed me out for fucking two hours. I felt anxious. I was sweating. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Bro, this picture of you punching the other guy in the face is amazing. Yeah, fucking <laughs> you look sport great. photographers. And That's you could hear crazy. him the whole time just going. Oh, fuck. How so whatever you did would get captured. How did you get involved in that event, by the way? Like, did you catch an invite or did you volunteer? Yeah, that, that was... Oh. It's probably, it probably William Osman, right? Uh, no, that was... I, I think iDubs released a video calling out Rice Gum. Okay. And I had, I had met him a couple of times and I'd stayed with him in... Um, he came down to Melbourne. Um, and I was just like... I think he was calling out Rice Gum, but I just commented like, yeah, I'll fight you. And then he added me to like a Discord, and for the for like a long period, I thought I was fighting Idubs, so oh. I was fucking terrified. Because oh. I was like, "Fuck, this guy's been training. He fucking looks like he's got nothing to lose." <laughs> um, and then I got matched up with James, which was great. You got you got to walk. Fucking rocked Idubs. No, I spot. I saw. I sparred him, and he really wanted to spar me because I was like more similar to Doctor Mike's height and Doctor Mike's build. Um, but Idubs actually fucked me when we were sparring. Really, I landed a lot of like jabs couple of right hands but he's got really good defense and can take a lot of hits and then he got me with a body shot and i'd never been hit hard in the liver before and i got hit and i was like i'm all right i'm all right and my brain was just like crumpled and, like, <laughs> and it's like have you been winded badly? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like winded but like comes from here and your body just gets fucking paralyzed oh my god so i honestly in when he was going into the dr mike fight i thought like if he lands like some good fucking liver shots like he's got it but I, I don't think he landed them, so it's like... What's, right. What's the difference? Like, how does... Do you not tone it down when you're sparring at all? Like, how does it work? That's the thing that I didn't know, because when I sparred, I thought I had probably been going, like, 50, 60, 70% in my spars. But then as soon as I landed those shots, I was like, I was going, like, 20% in my spars. And to actually fucking go 100% was a weird fucking feeling. But it's like you said, it's, it's also very different, because when you're going 20%, your punches don't slip through gloves in the same way. You, yeah. Like obviously when you're faster, you got less reaction time. So it's like, it was very, very different. Are you not 100%. supposed to spar at a hundred percent? You meant to, but it's like, I didn't want to like all the guys I was sparring with, you know, I, I know some kind of friends with, so it's fucking, it's not, it's, it's weird. Cause it's yeah, a fun you sport, but not a good sport. Yeah. It's like, it's, you just don't want to hurt your, someone you're like, practicing against and no. even in your case you don't want to hurt the person you're supposed to be fighting no like none of us have real beef we're yeah. all kind of friends we all know each other 
And none of us have that boxer mentality where you're like, I want to fucking destroy this man's brain. It's like, <laughs> yeah. we all know that like when you get hit in the head, you get concussion, you fucking get Alzheimer's. It's like, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, but then they raise the money shit. for it. So it all equals it out. It all equals <laughs> out. It, it will be for us. In yeah. The future, yeah so it's actually, it's the money fun. raised <laughs> is for iDubs. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, iDubs asked me to do it, but I, I said, no, I, I think I'll die. I think I will die if I get punched in my chest hole. Yeah. You have, you don't have a lot of, uh, do you have a, what's it? Pectus, Pectus excavator. Uh, yeah. I have direct access to my heart within a centimeter. <laughs> you should just like put some, I don't know, like a little cushion in there. Just fill a it in. What do Maybe you, a tiny little cement. mattress. Just like fill it in with cement so that if somebody like, punches it, they get hurt. Yeah. Yes. That's you good. want me to fill my chest with cement? Yeah, yeah just for pave it over with a little tiny little like steamroller. Yeah. <laughs> It'd just be really funny. And then put like like Coots's hand print in it. Yeah, like it's cute. Footprint and it's and it's like put the name. And in. you're sort of like Iron Man. Yeah. Well, not really at all. I just have no. Cement it's like in you both chest. have a circle in your chest. Yeah. His yeah. does technology. It it's makes like his Iron. Heart it's like I, Iron Man. I'll be your like I'll Man. be your Jarvis. You won't be that. He'll just, be in your ear. He'll, He'll be, be hanging ear. out. Who's the one? Watch he out for the right with? hook. Pepper pots. You'll be my pepper pots. You just fucking. You just fill me up like an application. I'm just gonna fill you up. And this is our daughter. You do look similar. Who dies? Now, to, now that he said to that. Gwyneth to, to Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, I, I, I see it. I see I it. I love Fuck. you. Couple, some hundred. <laughs> a couple hundred? My Why bitch, don't you want to spend time with me? bitch kid. <laughs> Dude, oh, uh, on the subject of you looking like Ninja, it was... Oh my god. <laughs> we're in the hotel. You got the same hair. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it was... We're, a, coming back from the hotel, we, we're, we're getting... We're going up the elevator, and there was like this high school like event happening at with the same hotel so it was like a bunch of high school kids and uh and it's like it's like 10 like i don't know like football players or something they're walking by and me and aiden are just uh standing there waiting for the elevator and this guy like kind of goes up to aiden and then he like he he looks at him and then stops and then keeps walking and he's like my bad bro i thought you were ninja <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i was just, like i am and then, I then they were in the elevator the doors were closed and i was like yeah it's me tyler blevins like <laughs> <laughs> i had the best thing happen to create a clash after the event this little kid came up to me with his mom he was really nervous he was like excuse excuse me like are you are you dr mike and i, and I was like because it, it happened to me before and then i was like yes yes i am so i took a took a photo with the kid and then at the end i was like no kid i'm not even a real doctor like <laughs> <laughs> my name's not mike either it's, it's all like, a lie it's all a big <laughs> like, lie whoa <laughs> wow <laughs> what How? crazy content for a kid to watch dr mike yeah maybe it was his mom or something. yeah I sure. why that's his audience what is it like what kind of content is like he's just a hot dog react to oh, gray's anatomy yeah. but also be really hot and be like yeah, we use stethoscopes too. <laughs> <laughs> he, does, he, does he bites his lip. lip. He bites his lip. Yeah, they're but. like really good for like heartbeats. <laughs> is What's your heart up? beating at Follow home my watching? Insta, yeah, moms. And then his Insta's just like fucked up items. Dude, speaking of Insta, we took a, a private jet. Have you ever taken a pr private jet? <laughs> no. I Me didn't. neither. Until yeah. a couple days ago, they flew us out. It was like some sort of thing for the event, and they flew us out on a private jet. Me and Eamon are fucking around a lot. We're talking about how, like, it's about the pilot, not the plane. We're talking about how Dude, we've, it is. we've flown one of these pilots before. You know, we're just taking videos. I got my Top Gun hat. We're being Whoa. fucking dipshits about it. Uh -huh. And the pilot, we're like, hey, can we get a picture? He's, like, this really young, like, handsome guy. Like, hey, if we get a picture of you, because we want to make a joke, like, how, you know, we're flying this PJ, we take a picture with him. And uh, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'll totally, I'll take a picture with anyone. It's all good. I'm like, okay. And then Eamon posts it on the yard Twitter and Prius. So there, here's the picture. We say better pilot 20 bucks. He couldn't do in a straight shot. You know, we don't <laughs> like turns in our planes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, Prius replies is uh, he's a CSGO observer. The best to ever do it. Possibly him and Sapphire. And he's like, that's Owen. And we're like, what the fuck? It's apparently this guy is like an influencer pilot. Yeah. yeah. So he, he has an Instagram and it's called Fly with Owen and he has like 120,000 followers and he also makes YouTube videos and he just makes like, he's just this like cool Chad pilot guy who like flies cool planes, fixes them up and is like a plane influencer. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, he's huge finding, on plane We're tube. finding this all out after we land and, and like have are left you, him are behind. Are you sure he's actually flying the plane? He didn't just hire some like midget pilot to hide <laughs> under the yeah. ass. He's just this model sitting yeah. in the, the, the No, I asked seat. him. Dude, I went up to him before we started flying because he's really young looking and I know that you got to have a lot of hours, right? Because about the pilot, not the plane. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, dude, we were, <laughs> I was like, I was like, what's up, man? How's it going? I was like, you're young. How many hours you got? And he's like, 
four thousand. And, <laughs> <That's a lot. laughs> and I was like, Sim? Sim? Yeah, I was like, you, got, joke, like, you can't have Sim hours, bro. You're a pussy. Did he you have got, Sim hours? Oh, he had you Sim do, hours. You do. Oh. The, the, the funny you part is that you do, you do no, have Sim you hours. Can't. That's what you have hard Sim hour requirements. Well, no, what is Sim hours? What the f- what you, sim, so when you're a pilot and you're training, yep. you take time. A simulator. You're, you fly a simulator uh yep. most like especially if you're learning to fly like a new plane like maybe you're moving maybe you know how to fly like an airbus model but you're switching to like a boeing model you have to do a required number of sim hours to like get certification to fly that yeah. new type of plane but the problem is you can simulate the plane you can't simulate the pilot no you yeah. can't <laughs> you can't and that's what we, I told we Owen. asked yeah. him, we asked him <laughs> what we landed we were like did you just did you think at all or did you just do? <laughs> yeah. and what was his answer? What did he say to that? I would love his insight. Yeah. What so, a hero. I'm so excited for because all the Top Gun jokes from a week ago, like nobody could get because nobody had seen the movie yet. Yeah. And it came out this weekend. So hopefully they're Have hitting a bit harder. No, no. I got paid should I, should I watch it? a shit ton of money to advertise this film for four weeks. And I did it incessantly. Then we watched it, and it turns out to be the greatest film that came <laughs> out in the see? past eight did you, years. Have you seen Whoa. the original I, Top Gun? No. Okay. If, I've watched American Sniper, though. Is that similar in any way? I that <laughs> no. I, All right. I yeah. like, All right. So, so, way so you know how in American Sniper, you know how he has like PTSD from like shooting kids? Yep. So in this movie, none of that happens. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. Right. I want to see yeah. a guy celebrate yeah. shooting. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a bunch of hot dudes playing volleyball Dude, under the sun. My flying, favorite flying part scene. of the movie, my favorite part of the movie, is the football scene where they're <laughs> they're playing football, but they're play. You know how like uh, uh, American football, like they there's the play like stops and goes right, yep. and there's defense and there's offense, and you play it out until it switches sides again. In the movie. The ball is being played both ways. There's two balls, but they it isn't explained <laughs> yeah. to you. And yeah. so you're just watching them play like two-way football for the movie. And then they finally explain it at the end of the scene. They're like, yeah, this is dogfight football where you play offense and defense at the say, same time. Oh. I was going to say, it's like, this is pilot football. Yeah, huh? yeah it's <laughs> dogfight football. And then someone just pinches Tom Cruise nipple. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do they do the volleyball thing where they just all slap each other's ass? Like, the yeah, it looked time? like an Abercrombie and Fitch photo shoot. Actually, real quick, Zipper, can you pull up the volleyball scene from the original Top Gun? No, just to we're show... gonna get demonetized. No, again. Yeah, no, no, just, just, just a little clip. Yeah, we, yeah, we actually brought up Swordfish last time, and we had to take it out of the video because the video was demonetizing Whoa. us. Did we just blur? Did we cut that whole bit out? We just cut it out. Holy shit! Yeah, it was crazy. You gotta slice it out, man. But I just I want to show you in the eighties. This was a movie about flying planes and being with your boys, and it's just so hot. It's already hot. And it's just them fucking just like playing volleyball. Dude. This is not necessary <laughs> for anything. God, Iceman. So I, look, I know it's just I know it's just how aging works, but it's so funny how like how Val Kilmer in the new movie he kind of looks like shit. And then, and but Tom Cruise looks like basically okay. the same age. <laughs> Val Kilmer literally has throat cancer. Does he does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. In that's what real I world. forgot. He can't actually speak. <laughs> yeah. Really? He. So you look sad. great, Val. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird Dude, that the guy with real throat genius. cancer looks like shit, but like the guy who's in Scientology and healthy looks good. Yeah. It's the, like... He gets. A, he's. A, he's been. Sucking the adrenal crown, you know? Because they're yeah, the same yeah. age, you know? It's, it's, it goes to show what stem him cells and, do. Him and Pelosi get together once a week at the, at <laughs> yeah. the HQ. Yeah. Dude, that, I drove by that building for the first time. It's fucking insane. Which one? Looking. On Sunset? The Yeah, the Sunset one. The Sunset one looks like a shopping mall. The I used Scientology to like, building? Yeah, I used to like is go... That, is that the museum of something? You know, there's a, a Church of Scientology on yeah. Sunset in Wait, Hollywood. It's the big we blue one. Sunset. Is that what you're thinking of? I think it is I'm also on Sunset, right? Maybe I don't know. Either way, I used to take uh, to that one specifically. I used to like walk by it with when I'd like go on dates because it was just really funny and that like is... you get to just like make fun of Scientology, right? As you get to know each other, yeah. So classic bit walk. I love a bit walk. Uh, what 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 was the way back? Tell me now. Tell me now. What do you mean the you're way back? You're freaking out yesterday. You're like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to tell you what happened on the way back you're, from my you're plane ride. Okay, so you there was a guy on our plane who I recognized. I yep. thought he might be like an actor or something. Because I knew I had seen him on TV or like in a movie or something. I'm like, why does this guy stick out to me? Like, why the fuck do I recognize this dude? I'm thinking about it for like the first 30 minutes of our flight. He's sitting up in first class. We walked by him on the way in. And I'm thinking, I'm like, was he like a news anchor? Because I kind of remember him like interviewing or like getting interviewed. And I remember him being like kind of weird. And then it clicked. He's a Larry Elder. The guy who is the leading Republican candidate for the governor race in California. Do you remember that? Yeah. There was the, the sub zipper. 
there was the of it was no the guy so so there was a recall election in California oh, for governor yeah, yeah, where yeah, Gavin yeah. they were trying to oust Gavin Newsom from office and the Republicans needed like uh had an election to decide or or a bunch of Republicans were fighting to like be the guy that a primary and, but they're all they're all listed out. They didn't even have a primary. I don't well, that think. was like that was the uh yeah because they, they were all in the same. But you keep doing runoffs. oh I guess it's the equivalent of yeah. a primary. So uh Larry Elder was this dude who was like famously libertarian who was all on the news all the time like we don't need any laws around guns vaccines are bullshit oh god like all <laughs> all of these fucking hitting, hitting all the check boxes yeah, yeah. it's like age of consent shouldn't exist driver's <laughs> license is whack yeah. i don't know if he actually said that one but a true patriot a true a libertarian true, a true patriot yeah. a true libertarian does not believe in the age of consent so if you're ever interested in that weirdos you know hop mm -hmm. on the train <laughs> and and larry was just on the front of our plane from orlando back home to la and I was like, what could I do? Like, what could I, could I take a photo with him? Could I like fucking say a bunch of Dude, weird shit to him? Dude, it's going to be your Hungrybox uh, Milo. Milo moment, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> well, a little more orchestrated, hopefully. Sure. But then I realized like anything I come up with right now, he just gets off the plate way before I do. So I can do nothing. I'm yeah. just sitting you know at the back. You know should have done? Or Eamon in this case. You go up to him, you get the picture. You're like, bro, bro, I'm huge. I appreciate what you're doing for like, you know, guns, especially recently. And you like, get a picture <laughs> with him. And then uh, and then you just post it. And you go <laughs> like, this guy sucks, LMAO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or something. Like, that's, fuck this guy. That's what I, that's <laughs> what I wanted to do was go up, to, like get a pic, but tell you to like, moon in the background or something oh. and like and then post it in public in that's lax yeah and i was i was coming i was coming up with this backstory of like i'm just a young i'm just a young lad trying to get involved in politics no at one's Chapman gonna buy that and, like, when you have fucking pink hair bro no i'm fucking i'm i'm libertarian i was making you, the joke, oh yeah dude yeah. I, did. I, was, I was making the joke <laughs> before we got on the plane that uh that this is the first LGBT pilot, and it's just pointing, <laughs> yeah, at, it's pointing <laughs> at me. Yeah. The first LGBT pilot. You're a hero, man. I, that, my idea was me walking by him on the plane and crop dusting him. Oh, yeah. But, but you dusting. have to pull back the first class curtain yeah, to like get to up get to, to, to Delta One. To get but to de you fart <laughs> is when you is when you mm. fart uh, stealthily near somebody. I don't know why, but my mind went to we used to do a thing where we would cut off bits of our pubes and then just. Oh, you burn them? <gasps> blow, no, blow, like a, like an eyelash wish? Yeah, wow. eyelash wish, but we would do it at people in class and you'd kind of do it and then just go. And then they get uh, really itchy and then just like. What's, what's that's it? my peeps. That's cropped dust. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's so much better than ours. Yeah, yeah. We, we were doing this thing on the, on the, pe on the page over uh -huh. where everything on the plane, I would compare it to like, say it's like, you know, it's like pretty good, but it's like not as good as like this on Delta One. You know, like <laughs> Delta comparing one. everything to Delta One the entire flight. Uh, first class. You, you left th saying it's worse. I think it actually is. Than Delta One? Yeah, because it's like the only, I think the main appeal of the whole thing is that you just don't go through security and wait for your flight. You just get on the plane and yeah, go. You can also lay down. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but you can you lay can do down that. in Delta One. Yeah, you can do that in Delta One. Not in Delta One. You no, you can't. can't. That's not Delta the th section on our plane was not Delta. One. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, anyway, I was gonna ask you what what else did you guys do back in the day? What what's a what's a classically Australian bit with the lads? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you we, hit us with cutting off your pubes. Do you know about fire punching? No. <laughs> What the fuck is that an Australian thing that yeah, I have? Yeah, our, our buddies invented a sport where you have a campfire and then you punch it. Oh yeah, yeah, we've done that. Yeah. <laughs> we've done that. We didn't call it fire punching, but like, we've are definitely you, I, done I that. Can't tell if he's fucking. He's I fucking hate that you've independently done, that. done that. Wait, are you fucking with me? No, this isn't me. That's punching. so crazy. I, think, I actually think that all Australian babies are given DMT, and that's how they're connected through the interweb of DMT. <laughs> oh, I remember something fucked we used to do. This is bad. We used to do this thing called sogging. It's not called something we called it something. um and it was we would go around the neighborhood and we would just pick fruit off trees then we would just go down to the highway and whenever trucks would come by we would fucking just throw fruit the fucking truck. and it's just fucking that's so this horrible dude. and we did it and we had like we just didn't have any like foresight we were like nah this is it's fruit yeah it can't hurt anyone but then we did it once and we fucking threw something at a bus and just shattered the entire window of the bus <laughs> and we were wearing our school uniforms as well so we got out and then we stopped. Spe but. Speaking of school uniforms, are you good at handball? Yeah, I'm fucking the best at handball. But handball is actually, once you get good at handball, it's kind of just like, you know, when you reach like max level in a game, you're just the best at it. Like you can do this thing in handball called slogging. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's when, so when the ball gets low and you just 
yeah. smack it at its very bottom. And then it just flies at the bottom, not even bouncing. And mm-hmm. that's allowed for some reason. Yeah. And you can slog off every single shot. So I would just do that as the slog master would just go. <laughs> the slog- God, I want to be the like, slog master. Dude, I wish sick. Nick was here. Well, slog master does mean something different in our lexicon, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm the yeah. slog master. Because we got we got really into this. So what, like you play four square in elementary school here with like a with like a oh, yeah. big, it's called four square and you use a big rubber ball. Like uh, that's like this big. That's it's easy. a much easier sport. And when we had uh, right before the pandemic, we had a group of our Australian friends, including Josh, who you meet after this. And they were bored one day, so they went to go pick up a little rubber ball, and they started playing handball in the backyard. Yeah. And we're like mind blown. It's like four square with small ball. Like yeah. no way. <laughs> yeah. No They've way. Done it again. But we yeah. got really, we got really into this, and we play four square. We set up four square or handball at every uh, like convention and smash tournament we would go to, and we got a bunch of uh, Americans fun. into fucking handball with the rubber. You're just cooler, fun. Nick, right now, huh? He's just cooler, Nick. He really yeah. is. I think you have everything. You're better than him in wait, every wait, wait, single wait, wait. possible way. Wait, no, loose, I, I do not play taller, Spanish, thinner, what are your loose on? Italian descent. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I don't think he's Italian descent. My descent is Russian. My I'm close. Are born in China, but they're Russian. Close. I'm so close. Close. Yeah. They call European. they call Italy the China. Italy is the Russia of China. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I've said that. Do you, <laughs> what are your thoughts on skinny jeans? I wear skinny jeans. Oh. oh. Does Nick They're the same. Jeans? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. actually his worst in flop. Australia, it's kind of cool. Like in, in if you're in Sydney, it's cool. If you're outside of Sydney, everyone just thinks you're gay. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I've been bullied for like wearing skinny jeans. I feel like town. if you show up to People a bar. Like, Your girlfriend wants her jeans back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough life. So wait, you're from uh, Mel- Melbourne? No, from Sydney. Oh, Sydney. okay. Okay. Sydney. Yeah. Sydney. yeah. I li- I've been to Melbourne, Melbourne, What'd and it was really cool. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Why do you willingly pronounce it so terribly? Mel- How am I supposed to? Melbourne. 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 But it doesn't sound good if I do it. Melbourne. No, it's fine. Melbourne. It's fine. Melbourne. Yeah, it exactly I think if you're same. saying if you're saying it like properly with an American accent, you'd say Melbourne. There's an R Melbourne. in it, and I need it's to say Melbourne. The Melbourne is just wrong. Yeah. Melbourne. I mean, it's spelled like <laughs> Melbourne. Yeah. But people yeah. say Melbourne. Like it's just. It was great. I went and saw kangaroos, and then we oh, ate so, kangaroo yeah, meat. Yeah, it's delicious. It's really good. You ate kangaroo good. meat? Yeah, I told you. What? You never. He never. My wife never remembers anything about me. Honey, <laughs> honey. Yeah, that's so we mean. Ate kangaroo meat. That's so mean. It is mean, and you Are know there what? Enough I also kangaroos? got fucked by by a, by, a, who? by a, a Maori guy, oh, and his no. and he was handsome. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, honey. <laughs> True Australian experience. <laughs> Wait, why is eating kangaroo okay? Uh, they're like deer. They're Are there very, a lot? They're populated. We've got too many of them. They actually cull them in some areas. Yeah. So sure. Did you know the hunting licenses are distributed in a lot of states in the U.S. based on controlling deer population? Wait, how the fuck do you even hunt kangaroo in Australia? To choke them out? You just, That's a good question. You just shoot them in the but, head. Well, no, you, you guys. Don't. <laughs> what do you guys have? No, so we we do have guns. Oh, here, yeah. This is yeah. actually this is how you do it. This There's is how you do it. Boom. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's and then you you take him home for dinner. This is this Wait, what, there's no dog there. That guy's just punching a kangaroo. Yeah, that's a different. No, no, no that's, that's the, the video. That's the dog runs away. Left. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. He's just still fighting it. Like <laughs> well, actually, the dog is CGI. He just wanted to beat the shit <laughs> out of kangaroo. Kangaroo really does take it like a boxer. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. fucking. <laughs> jab, jab, jab. It's fucking crazy. Dude, that'd be a hype training video. Next creator clash. You yeah, just find I, a kangaroo. I fucking, I wanted to do that. That's, That's just yeah. Tekken. <laughs> into my head, but I watched that clip, and you can see once the kangaroo gets hit in the head, it does the same thing that James did. It just goes a bit like. <laughs> you do the same thing. You call Whoa. a ref. Whoa. Yeah, 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 look, like if you watch, it kind of just like backs down now. It's just like, oh, like. Bro, your ref is a kangaroo, <laughs> and he's like all biased. <laughs> yeah, and it goes to a TKO, and the kangaroo wins. Yes, every time. <laughs> and then what? He's he's fucking talking. To yeah, him he's now. like the fuck idiot. Yeah, fuck you. Come at me again, bro. <laughs> he gives him lip where he should. That's Let me, how hilarious. long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, I think, I, so I started with a different channel in 2016 when we went to North Korea. Boy, we, boy. Boy, boy. We made a documentary about it. Uh, we went there to get a haircut. Um, and then that didn't do well on like on the YouTube algorithm, but like news picked it up because everyone was like, holy shit, like you can go to North Korea. And it just, it's very easy to go there. You just go on like a, very normal Jesus. country, yeah. Very normal country, exactly the same as everywhere else in the world. <laughs> yeah, no real weird things about it at all. Just don't go to the 14th floor. Yes. Yeah. Also, people have a lot of food to eat there, no a matter who of, you are. The food was so funny there because it was like, we would go through all these villages to get to Pyongyang. And like, you could see everyone there was just like rural lifestyle. Like, 
no rubbish, n nothing, no real infrastructure. Everyone was like, just, you know, just like, just farming, a lot of corn. And then when we got to the hotel, there was a lot of food and, but everything was like packaged, like all the water, we weren't allowed to drink the tap water. It was just like bottled water. Um, and then the food, they were just like, cause everyone there was American. They were just like, what do Americans like to eat? So they just, it was just like really badly made hamburgers and like French fries. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I wanted to eat Korean food. Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah. The um, here is Borgor, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, they did such funny stuff. They did one thing. We went to visit the kind of friendship museum, which was where they like, they show gifts that Kim Jong-un was given from different countries around the world. And they were like, here is a gift from Korea, from Samsung. And I kid you not, it was all Apple products. All Apple products. <laughs> and everyone realized this, but no one wanted to laugh. So we're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. It's crazy. Yeah, it was very strange. I feel like going to Korea is the same experience as when a friend shows you a video that's not funny, but they think it's really funny. And so you have to just politely nod at yeah. everything. But it's a whole like week. A whole Dude, week. Yeah. Oh, I'd be... Yeah. I'd, I, they'd kill me. It's a week long video. I can't not laugh. Yeah, you're. Yeah. He's I a die piece of in shit. North Korea. We, we get in arguments, and I'm genuinely mad at him, and he just starts laughing at me, and I want to charge the mound. <laughs> I just, it's just how I handle tension. Yeah, same so if me. I saw if I saw iPhones, I'd be like, I'd be, I'd get scared, but then I'd laugh anyway. No, I guarantee you, it's so surreal that you would just be like, "This is a dream." Like, it <laughs> felt like that. You can't time. point at shit. You were saying. Yeah, yeah, we got in trouble because we, like, I was just talking to my mate Alexa. We're like, "Oh yeah, the leader, the leader, the leader," and then this. Guide got really offended, slapped my hand, and was like, "No, you do this, our oh. leader, our dear leader, our dear oh. leader." Um, yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so started with that, and then I made it. I did, like did that for two years, and then I made. I did a thing in two thousand and end of two thousand and eighteen. How old are you? I'm thirty. You're thirty. Yeah, but I was in the house. I'm 32. Fuck yeah. And I get shit all the time from You're these younger, stupid... You're younger, right? Yeah, because he's a fucking beautiful hairline, and he's ripped, and he's 6'4", and he's tan. You do look 22 you are years bald. old. Shut the fuck, fuck up. Yeah. Stop fucking talking to me. You're a stupid piece of shit. And you have uh, foreskin. Do you have Ch foreskin? Ugh. Dude, he's Australian. Of course oh, he does. Out. It would be weird if you so were four cut. What, foreskin what, in the house. What do girls think of foreskins here? Is it like... Do Dude, they get like... My first girlfriend in college reached down into my pants to touch my penis, which had foreskin and was hard, and then pulled it out <laughs> immediately and went, ew. She could tell. She was like, oh, that little it was on the Yeah, it was like yeah. she put her hand in a slop bucket, and it was like, ah! <laughs> well, because, like, you, you jerk a regular dick, and it's just ready to go. Yeah. Maybe you need a little loche, a little spit, whatever, some elbow <laughs> grease. But you jerk a, a foreskinned dick and you need to do the, you need to start the show. You need to open the curtains. Yeah, exactly. And do you? Yeah. Well, you have yeah. to pull back. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. God, it's so, it's like. warmed up a little bit. It, well, you guys right? are like talking about like an alien species. You got to pop me. the lipstick yeah. out of the dog dick. It's the same with us. Yeah. yeah. What, what I don't understand is surely being circumcised, your dick's just like, if I fucking pulled my dick back and just had the head rubbing around in my pants, it'd be fucking extremely painful. Oh, it would be. Yeah, it would hurt. It would fucking hurt. Yeah, How, when, when does that happen? Does it just- Well, 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 you gentlemen. You lose all feeling? So, like, so you do, yeah, your penis you do. head eventually becomes desensitized. And this is actually a problem for me in particular. I have f famously now never, <laughs> never finished the job from a blowy ever yeah. in my life because I just it's not sensitive enough we have actually a Patreon goal of 25k we're all gonna suck them off and see who can get them oh, the most fuck. yeah it's mm -hmm. the su suck it suck and suck and suck 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 and sponsored and it's a, sponsored it's, by it's a telethon sponsored by Lockheed what Norton was VPN what was the <laughs> <laughs> protect yourself sponsored by Slim Jim that's what it was Slim Jim uh, loved yeah, the sucking fucking fuck thon they got they, so mad they're trying to get my gym to stop being so slim I we had a Slim Jim sponsor and he, he kept saying suck and fuck and then after they were so mad they didn't like they didn't like that at all yeah. Uh, you know what? And every time I have a sponsor, I did the fucking Top Gun sponsor, and then everyone's saying suck and fuck during that too. Oh, so I've created a narrative. You've created <laughs> it, 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 for the, your activations. The downfall of my activations. <laughs> Don't they know who you guys are though? Ejaculation Village, isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're all about they that. should know. They should know, but <laughs> you'd be surprised how dumb they are. How little they actually know. Wait, what did you what did you do before YouTube? Because that usually it's like you're super young, like these Minecrafters, like Fundy. You've never had a job. No, well, I've had, fun, I've had such disdain. <laughs> fourteen, I had fourteen different jobs before YouTube, and failed four different university degrees. Holy shit! Fucking did teaching, social work, nursing. Started a paramedic course for a little bit, then went back to nursing. Oh no, I, I did social work at the end. Sorry, it was in my third year, and then I quit that. So yeah. you were, so you, how were you generating the milk? Uh, when? Then. When you were nursing? 
Uh, I would, did a bunch of different jobs. I was like... <laughs> no, I was, I was joke that you're nursing a baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I did, oh. I did that as well. But like, <laughs> yeah. That doesn't pay that well. So <laughs> yeah, the babies right. have a lot of money. I, I thought you were saying milk as slang for money. That's what I thought because... Yeah. I love how they just he, he he picked it up. He's like, yeah, sure, milk, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like, what they call it here. I felt like I've definitely said milk for money before as well. Mm -hmm. so I, I like, got no milk. <laughs> I gotta fucking grind for it for my milk. I think that's the best thing you can be is a YouTuber who also had jobs in a life before. Yeah, yeah. And you aren't like from seventeen to now, dude. I was talking to Fundy, who is a Minecraft YouTuber, who I found out that he exists at this event. Uh -huh. Super nice guy, really funny, super young. And, uh, and he was saying, he's like, I actually, you know, it's, it's, you're so funny. You guys, you and Ludwig actually, we actually studied your videos. And I was like, what are you talking about? Whoa. And I was like, are you talking about the, you laugh, you lose where we like laugh at a monkey. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I studied those. Me and my friends would study those to see like how to, you know, be funny and like how to make a video. And I'm like. That's crazy. The way they laughed at that monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's the what I was saying. Through the poo <laughs> and they just laughed. At it. It's like an what? '80s montage, and they have videos come up, and they're like, "Ah ha ha! No, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Try again." <laughs> yeah, it was. It was really. It was humbling, and I was like, "That's so nice, right?" Because this is like a. He's a Minecraft YouTuber. He will be buried in a golden sarcophagus. Yeah. You know, they've well, made it. They do get frozen cryogenically and then restored in a thousand years yeah. when Minecraft 2 comes out. Which is just real life. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> it's, that's the Matrix, yeah. actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fucked up. I, no Minecrafters are funny except for Tommy in it. You think yeah. so? Yeah. You didn't th Jack Manifold's hilarious. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, but he's not even a Minecrafter. Is he not? No. I guess he I don't He barely know. ever plays Minecraft. I, you I, know what he, he does play? Mario Kart Wii plays a little Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii. But he's like, he's he's a Minecrafter like Schlatt is. It's because it was successful, not because that's what he loves to do or, or does a lot. Uh, Have I you see. ever thought about tempting with the, the unicorn blood that is Minecraft? A little bit, Content. but then I realized like, I ch it, gaming for me is kind of like the release from doing actual work where I'm like, yeah, I get to chill out. I'm just like, I just don't want to ruin that. But also I've never played Minecraft. So, Ever? Also, no. what you're doing is working out great. So yeah, don't okay, sell yeah. me with Minecraft. Yeah. I would love to duel you. Yes, Are you go to GeoGuessr. I'm cracked. Fucking, we should go. One yeah, of the best, yeah. yeah, in the world. I watched Bart one of your things none. with uh, what's his name? Go to Co. Geo Wizard. Geo Wizard. Geo Wizard. He's good. Yeah, he's amazing. He's better than him too. You know, is this true? <laughs> no. Wait, you guys. I'm pretty good. I'm not that good. You guys met for because of rock climbing, right? Yeah. You know how he started rock climbing. No. This is crazy. Our friend, our like our our actual friend in real life who's not a streamer or anything, his name is Noel. He messages Ludwig out of the blue, who he doesn't really know, but he's like, Hey, maybe he's interested. Would you like to go rock climbing with me? Okay. <laughs> That's it, what I said to you. They, I they said have, you want to go climb some rocks. And you're well, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It well they have spoken like probably a couple times in their life, but Noel's just looking for someone to hang out with. Ludwig thought that it was Noel Miller. Uh. And he was like, Yes, I would love to do that. Finds out halfway through like the week that leading up to this, he's like, wait a minute. This is like the Noel that hits like smokes a lot of weed and plays video games that, that my friends Because Noel Miller, the same period is asking me to do other things randomly. He'd be like, let's go go-karting. And the next day he'd be like, want to do a boxing sparring match? And so I was like, all right, this guy just likes doing random shit. Yeah, but he it was a Discord message. Yeah. And, and yeah. And, and then Ludwig was like, well, I'm not just going to say no. I'm not a big shot, right? I'll, mm. I'll still go. And he went. And now it's like this insane part of his life this integral part of his every day is He's, going climbing yeah it is the best it's climbing's great it's fucking amazing do you guys do it yeah i did it for a while i haven't gone in like two probably two months but mm. uh yeah i got into it when he and nick does it a lot too who isn't here yeah yeah i don't i don't do it i i got fucked up back but also i abstain from things because i'm a rebel that's I will, cool. I will mm -hmm. say we. It's I think we political statement. Respect. We convince a lot of people to rock climb. We've had an influence. Yeah, except me. I. Uh, I mean, like yardigans. Yeah, yardigans love that shit. Which is concerning that we have that much influence because there might be white women watching us fucking dogs or. <laughs> yeah, don't, like, you know what? Maybe dog dick does hit different. <laughs> <laughs> like I think we have more influence than we realize. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, it's just really interesting because uh, you know it, it's apparently really fun, and I don't. Know. It's good, and it's you've fun. never done and, it. And he awesome. accidentally ended up doing it, and it's like that's how his life kind of works: is that things accidentally happen to him, and he's like, "Oh, okay, this is cool," and it could have well, been anything I, I else. I accidentally started doing it as well, where like I always knew I would like it, but I just never did it. 
And then just a random friend was just like, I thought I was doing something else. And like, oh, we got time to go. Let's go rock climbing. Went bouldering. Oh, I had done the rope climbing before. But right. that's kind of shit. It's like- I hate it. Really fucking, it just hurts your balls. You get way too high, way too quickly without any of the puzzle aspect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is like, it's kind of fun, but just scary. And then bouldering is just fucking beautiful. Yeah. Puzzle with your mind Goated. and your body. and fucking- Want to go again this week? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck around. Find yeah, out. I'm fucking keen if my- my fucking elbows forearms feel. get over it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got some injuries, bro. You all better watch out, especially I want you to drink your oat milk. I want you to stay healthy. My oat okay, milk. I'm 32. So, I mean, is that wait, what you do to look so young? Do you think I look young? I think you look. You, you do. You don't look 30. How how young do he's I look? He's bald. Shut the fuck up, Ludwig. He's talking. <laughs> I reckon you. I, when I saw you, I thought you were 26. 26? Yeah. How old am I? 17. I thought you were 24. 13 year old 27 26 <laughs> you thought Aiden looked older than yeah, me wow yeah. I'm the youngest I'm 25 you're 25 yeah how old are you you're I'm 32 th- you're 32 yeah isn't that crazy 26 oat milk baby it's oh, not yeah. oat milk that's not like what does it feel oh yeah <laughs> tell me what my body does you're, because you're my body it's now the, <laughs> it's the adrenochrome he's also doing it mm, we started being able to afford adrenochrome and I sucked mm. that shit right from the like a plum finally we're in Ooh. that financial tier yeah. Yeah. I need some how do I get some adrenochrome oh yeah. uh, no I, we can hook you up we got a guy yeah. we got a few yeah. kids his name's yeah. Noel actually <laughs> <laughs> um I feel like sorry you never got a chance to answer how did you transition from like normal work like what were you doing and then what made you decide to like finally do YouTube only I I think well so we the like since I was probably 16 with my mate Alexa we had always been talking about we should do a video on this we should we were always political we would always just you know make oh we made little short videos but never put them anywhere they were just for ourselves like oh it'd be funny if we just fucking throw fruit at cars and film it (laughs) did you film it when you break bus windows you (laughs) filmed it there's footage of this i i mean i haven't seen of you committing a crime yeah that's hype well i'd be more worried about the firearm one that has like 10 million views (laughs) we we, miles used to do that too we had the fruit tree outside the poop house and we would throw fruit but at a wall and the game was to throw the fruit as hard as you could and the loudest sound it'd make, we'd all clap like monkeys. <laughs> yeah. And if it was a really good sound, it'd be like, actually, yeah! Actually a sport that monkeys would partake in. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. slow-mo footage of oranges exploding. <laughs> well, you should try it on a truck. It makes the loudest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we never got that advanced. And we were next to a highway. We could have. Uh, yeah, did, that's true. Did you start with like the political stuff then? Yeah, so the political stuff was the start. And we did that, but we never made any money from it. And then I did, I did a thing for a year and I, in the first year, I probably made a thousand dollars. So it was never something I could do by itself, but I was pretty dedicated to it because I was like, seeing what's on YouTube, and I was like, I think my stuff's all right. And the people that did watch it liked it. And then it was just one video took off. It was the I, I made a video called "How Dangerous Is a Metal Straw," where I tested. There was a woman in California who was sipping a drinking green juice with metal straw. She fell and it fucking punctured her whole head. Oh, oh. So I just wanted to see how easy it is for a metal straw to fucking go through your skull. It's very easy. It's like having a nail in your drink. Okay. But I made that video and then it just, the algorithm picked that off, uh, picked up. And then my whole channel in that first month, I think I got 30 million views. Holy shit. I made shit. more money in that single month that I had in like my previous five years of working. Right. How many yeah. videos did you have on your channel b- before then? So th- around 30. So it was actually, wow. I'm very grateful that my channel only took off once I had a bunch of videos. Because then the backlog Because you have a backlog, backlog for everybody to hit. And yeah. I wasn't spoiled. I was like, okay, I had to do this for a year without nothing. And then it made me appreciate getting the views. And I was like, okay, fuck, it's time. Like just, and then from then on, I was just like every single day working on a video. But I didn't, I didn't release a video every week. It was like a video every month. You just haven't stopped. You got since. juicers though, so it helps. Yeah. I think that that's the what I found out from talking to Point Crow is like that Point if Crow you got Crow. the juicers, they 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 sustain you for a while. Yeah. Or if you do the everyday content machine like Ludwig, it's like a yeah. different model that can I don't know. They I both have their merits. Yours kind of just like the the kind of daily views will just keep picking up, keep mm-hmm. picking up, keep yeah. picking up from it. Like pump it out, just never fucking stop. <laughs> Susan just has me in the factory at all times, <laughs> just pumping and dumping. I take a day off, she calls me. Hi Ludwig, just you- wondering where the fuck you are. <laughs> Late for work. Yeah. You just didn't do anything today, sweetheart. You, little- you hear in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, he's also mad at me. <laughs> I'm telling him, Bruce. I'm telling him. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's like for us. Us dailies. Yeah. We're a different breed though. You're a different breed than I did a thing. Yeah. Because I did a thing like I was... 
he's always like he's we were climbing he's like i don't know how you do it like i don't know how you do daily yeah. and i'm like shut the fuck up like you just you're out here you make like a good product i just i just fucking do a stinky thing and then upload it and i, I just have to i've told him this since i'm day throwing fu- mass before shit he was a youtuber i told him this i said what you do is not art and i'd yell and make fun of him and yell at him <laughs> and then he got rich and then i stopped doing that as much <laughs> <laughs> i like your videos man they're thanks, good man. man thanks yeah, man they're yeah, I think good. your videos are pretty good have you seen one of my videos? Yeah. Oh. I've watched some of your your, your GeoGuessr stuff. Yeah. I watched the one where you, Mr. Beast took you on a plane. Right. I so think then I was annoyed because it was just more you talking about the plane and I want to see more footage of you on the plane. That's zero footage. Fucking do more shit. Sometimes story. he opens things from wish.com. The thing is I throw so much shit at the wall that it's bound to be appealing to someone. Yeah. You really are doing doing great <laughs> <laughs> i mean you fucking are. and that's heroic <laughs> yeah you're a hero i you're deserve a content the nobel hero. peace prize for that shit <laughs> what do you think is your worst video oh i've got i i have some that i unlisted just Ooh. because they were just so fucking strange like because before i was making money <laughs> on youtube and one time i just went hiking with my family and i just fucking filmed it and then tried to do a little like kind of artsy projects like we were visiting these like these abandoned shacks, like fishermen shacks. And like, I kind of just made it so like the the voices of the fishermen that used to live there would start playing when we walked by, by them and start saying funny jokes. And I tried to do their their accents that I imagined they would look like. <laughs> and it's just like a fucking high school grade, like art project. Yeah. And I was just like, this, is, this isn't an United the Thing video. Nothing happens. It was just... And just slow motion of a tree, like moving in the wind. It was serious, like art, art effort there. Oh, yeah, and I filmed it in 4K and like oh my tried God. to make it, like tried to frame things to look. It's like the American this Beauty a, filming a, fu- a plastic bag. He's a fucking artist, Ludwig. He's what do you mean? Artist. Artist. I have that, that too. Like, hold on, hold on. I you didn't even know about him an hour and a half ago. So he just <laughs> described to me that he's an yeah, artist. That's not my video though, and that video didn't do well. And he and unlisted like that it. video. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. He, 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 did beautiful. he didn't stand behind his art. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I don't think I've ever unlisted or privated an old video. Yeah, you have no shame. What's your first video? It was me playing Minecraft and I'm just ripping slurs. So I had to private that one. <laughs> just getting so mad at Bed Wars. Yeah. Using, using the W word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, w word. <laughs> The, the first even one that. for real is uh, it, well, I was 16 and I made a channel called the Zany Sidekick because I wanted to be a, a Call of Duty YouTuber yeah. and I and I was going to be the sidekick and the viewers were the heroes. So I introed saying, what's up heroes? And I, I emulated bar for bar, word for word, what I thought a Call of Duty YouTuber voice had to be. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I only turned right. Because I wanted to start the channel off right. And that was the and I would win the game. Oh, in Call of right. Duty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. My, that's kind of funny. My first YouTube videos I ever made views. were me taking like a shitty, uh, shitty camera, and I had a swivel chair that I would stack board game boxes and books books on top of until the camera could sit on top of the boxes, and then I would have to like kind of lock and like move the swivel chair as, as I was recording, and it would record my CRT TV of me playing Mario Strikers. And those are my first YouTube videos. Oh, that's no, cool. I forgot. My first actual video was me <laughs> doing an AMV of the Star Wars fight on on uh, Mustafar, I think. Yeah. Between Obi Wan and Anakin, uh, but it was stupid because the they don't song plug the show for free, dude. The Come song on. the song <laughs> that I used was the Battle of Heroes, the song they use in the movie. So I just re-edited the fight. Yeah. But I cut out Yoda. You just scored it. (laughs) Yeah, okay. I just not wait. That's not an AMV. That's just you editing the movie. So weird. Because I I hated watching the fight because I loved the fight, but they had this fucking Yoda versus. Yeah, Yoda fights Palpatine. Palpatine, yeah. And it was so boring. How was it boring? He jumps around. Because they're all CGI. He's like. Yeah, no. like yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's spin, shit, no, dude. I, they're boring as fuck. I like when he flips because it's just yeah, CGI and he just goes, and then half of it's just force also, pushing something. And because Palpatine's like a ninety-year-old man who can't actually move, he's not Palpatine in that moment. He's Darth Sidious. Sidious. Well, either way, that's what I re-edited, and that was my first video, and I uploaded that, and then it immediately got taken down because <laughs> apparently you can't upload bar for bar Star Wars. Yeah, they just thought you were putting the movie in. There. I wasn't. I re-edited on Windows Movie Maker. It took me days. Oh, Movie Maker. I, so I just remembered what my first ever YouTube video was. It was I got a spear gun, and I thought I'm going to shoot this, so I'm going to record it. So I go into my yard. I li- I didn't know how to shoot a spear gun. I lie down like I'm shooting a sniper, and I shoot, but because of the recoil, it just immediately comes back into my face cracks me in the face and cuts my top lip 
And then I just roll over and lie there for like a <laughs> minute just going, in the video <laughs> dude, dude it's like it's like australian it's like australian peter griffin falling down the stairs yeah. that's insane i did the same yeah. thing when i shot my first uh sniper i was like i, I didn't know how to do it and in america they don't teach you anything the guy's just there and he's like because you're born being able to shoot yeah. guns here he's like ah oh, no nah, you got cool. it you just figure it out so i just walked up and i just i went real close to like Fuck. the the barrel Aww. and then i shot and i boom. thank god i protected glasses but it was like boom. And then I backed up and nobody saw and I didn't want to be embarrassed because it was on stream with other people. And I was like, <laughs> I'm good. I the target? <laughs> and, uh, and then I walked away and I didn't shoot a gun the rest of the day. I was shaking. It bit back. Yeah, bit back. Like a rattlesnake. Why did no one tell you that? They, they just assume you know how to shoot. They, they literally lined up like 10 guns and they just had people shooting random guns. And there was one guy overviewing it like a teacher when students are running around in recess. Yeah, he's a chaperone. And he's just like, yeah, you guys got it. Just let me know if you need to know how to reload or cock it. There's like a there's like a, a, a masculinity like arms race to like be as be as like uninformative and as you can, mm -hmm. you know, when you're doing something like that. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Fucking figure out the recoil, bro. Just don't point it at me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and it's like it's it's gross. It's just like there's a few hard shit. rules. And if you follow those, it's like earplugs, glasses, keep your finger off the trigger. Don't point the gun at anyone, even when you're not shooting. Outside of that, it's kind of like, have fun. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Stay safe. Have fun, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. But it's a little nuts. Whenever I think of gun safety, I think of that scene in This Is The End where Jonah Hill has the prop gun in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, yeah it's like, bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'm going to shoot some guns maybe in a couple of weeks. There's like a, a gun show, which I'm going to film a video at. Mm -hmm. Kind of. I'm excited to fucking shoot that should be some real, real guns. Yeah. yeah, it's. Have you ever done it before? I've done it. I've shot a pistol, an M1 Garand, which was sick. Oh, so you've and, done this and a shotgun. Yeah, but that was in someone's yard, and it. Well, I mean, it was. I got the gun. So yeah, it like we cool. did it at like like it was just cars on the highway, and like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you go for the tire. You yeah, the tire. It's it makes the, the loudest <laughs> noise. It's so cool. You gotta be You're, careful though, because if you hit the gas. Tank it explodes like Whoa, GTA. 4. Your mate wins yeah. when uh, he flips a car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then we, and then we like they had to buy the rounds. <laughs> Do you like? Uh, I, I was thinking about this uh, like a week ago. So uh, LeBron James, he will tweet something <laughs> out. LeBron James will tweet something out. What, dude? Because you know nothing about sports. No, 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 no. This is this, really this funny. Makes sense. This, this makes is really sense. funny because yeah. I don't know. Because I think Australians in general are just more. Uh, maybe again, I'm just romanticizing you people. I think so. I think you're racist. Yeah. But, in a yeah. good way about it. But, no, but, but you like, people are so beautiful. Yeah, there's like, like less social culture. media. <laughs> there's less of like this idea of like the, you're like the, connected. Like you people are so connected, <laughs> and I love that. Oh, I love what, that. Whatever the Australian equivalent of a kimono is, I want to wear it to prom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to prom. <laughs> Probably be like some indigenous thing, and then you'd get in trouble for doing that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's more like so. So social media, it's like it, like people from Australia typically don't like sit there and like I'm like influencer life and this shit but maybe I just see it less either way LeBron James will post on Twitter mm. and he's LeBron James and he'll be like just getting dinner with my family and then instantly <laughs> like seven people will reply to him and like win a real ring pussy yeah. <laughs> Dude, and like so go funny. fuck yourself Dude. you were the worst thing to happen to the fuck to the fucking whatever team Lakers the yeah. most recent one was the was the what? one where he's like it's crazy how you can feel so alone sometimes and then it's like some guy with a Tom and Jerry profile of Nick <laughs> telling him he isn't a good basketball player <laughs> yeah. the fuck leave the man alone that's, that's what I'm saying like, just, and no, I'm like, I get it I, and, and I see this and I'm like how does this fucking happen like what the fuck is going through these goddamn people's heads when this occurs you get it though i get it because i watched the celtics versus the heat last night it was game seven the winner goes to the finals and jimmy butler pulls up and he takes a three-point shot to take the lead in the final like 20 seconds misses he choked chokes and immediately i go you're so bad at basketball <laughs> i pop off he dropped 47 the previous game yeah 35 that game yeah, 35 is still a very good. Not good enough to win, I guess. goes down, down to the right. Not good enough to win. And so I just talked about how shit he was, and then I was like, God, I want to tweet him. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, like I had like an urge. I just want to be like, you fucking suck, Jimmy Dude, Butler. Jimmy it's Butler, you garbage at basketball, and your coffee's not good. <laughs> yeah, I felt Fuck that. your family as well. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you are that guy. I, I was that. I didn't, 
I didn't act on it, but I in that moment was that guy. But Imagine like, you tweeted out nice choke loser. <laughs> We're all we all get there. That's you ever so drive much on the more hurtful and, from a verified million follower account. That's though. why I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, my power yeah. makes me be responsible. But people would think you're being sarcastic though, so you could slightly get Maybe. away with it. But, but like, like also, if I had no followers, I'd do it because I'd be like, no one will ever see this, yeah, and exactly. I want to do this because I feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. Have, have you noticed that like that? Because I get that sometimes, and it feels like that's more of an American thing to do that, but. There are some countries where people are so nice with their like tweets and comments and they they say each like message on YouTube like it's a personal message to me. They're just like, hi, Alex. I really love your yeah. videos. <laughs> like, greetings from Lithuania. And yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That guy, I, he's very, he's a nice they, guy. Yeah. They, like, they, they do it like boomers do in America. Yeah, yeah exactly. There's sort of like, this like scale, like polite Lithuanian fan. And on the opposite end, it's Brazilian CSGO fan. Oh. And they, <laughs> it's a scale. <laughs> and they're both they're both valuable in their own ways. Yeah, you know? yeah, they both play. They both play their part. Well, you made it because you got your first death threat. Yeah, I got, I got baby's first death threat. Congrats. Where, what was it like? I'm in a real content life, creator now. Or was it like? No, it was, it was a, a Twitter DM. I've never gotten, I've never gotten a death threat before, and I was like, I made it. Yeah, yeah. you finally, you finally got there. And we're yeah. printing that one out. We're putting it on the yard up here. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you respond? Or? No, no, no. So He's, I got, I got one. It was like. Hey bro, like I know where you live. I'm gonna come burn down your house. And I responded just like, ha ha ha. What question mark? <laughs> two days later, he was like, oh fuck, sorry bro. Like I was really drunk. It was like, yeah, I hate wow. that. That's such a like, common excuse. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, like, no. So when I drink, I, I like I have this arson thing. Yeah. And I just want to burn houses. It's like, and I hate it. I hate it too. No, my sorry. thing is like, I get to my third Miller, and I'm telling people to fucking that I'm gonna fucking kill them. You know. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I've only burned down like three houses in none near your area. I, I had the funniest one. It wasn't a death threat but like i show my nephew sometimes in my videos like use the the baby as like a prop you know as right the gags. <laughs> as a, and, as a target. And, and he's a cute kid and i had this one guy send me an email and he was like bro that kid is so fucking cute like i wonder what the mummy milkers on his mum look like <laughs> he's, a, he's a healthy looking kid jesus <laughs> christ I sent this to my sister and then i was just like i said the same thing i was like what like question mark and same thing like sorry bro i apologize i was really drunk That's dude so he rips that stupid. and in the back of his mind he's like there's a non-zero chance i see tits from this yeah yeah, exactly. yeah. and then you reply and you're like oh these are the milkers right here <laughs> and he's like, like yeah. 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 oath mate i've been saying this too oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, boobies God. nice boobies <laughs> <laughs> yeah if i when i uh, i got into beef with aiden ross and uh this is, is a story i've told before he's that streamer he gambles he's a streamer guy. who gambles he's permanently banned because he set a slur offline and he hasn't returned since but uh, I got into beef with him and uh, and I got a bunch of death threats from his fans. One guy was like, I'm gonna fucking kill you and rape your girlfriend. I was like, oh, yeah. that's fucked up. But I look and it's on Instagram and he has all his public info and he specifically <laughs> has his jersey of his football team. So I find where he lives, his school, and I screenshot his principal and his email and I send him that. And I'm like, I'm like, yo. And then he sends back like just fucking nonstop. And I'm not answering. He just keeps going. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't think that you would see it. Like, I didn't even think this was your main account because you're not even verified on this account. And like, I, don't, I actually don't ever do this before. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's so fucking pathetic. I hate it. I get angry. I'm sure you, yeah. I'm sure you like you, you're just like, oh, that's a weird comment. You move on with your day. I read them and I'm just like. What is the matter with you? You become the Joker. Why are you like you this? You brood. I, I pretend, well, I think I read every comment as if they're standing in front of me saying it to me, mm. which is just like- The worst thing you could do. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's the yeah. Lithuanian guy, it's still like kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I hate them all. I hate all the comments. <laughs> Dude, it's weird. The the comments I got on my, uh, my video I uploaded, I've only made like one video in like the past five years. And yep. it's like, it's just about like esports and fucking money and finances and shit. And people just make dumb comments that are like answered in the video and i got way more angry about that than i did about my death threat i got the death threat and i was like oh yeah and then i, I read those and i'm like god what what would you fucking say to me in person you dumb fucking idiot make <laughs> yeah. your face watch the whole fucking video yeah that pisses <laughs> like, me off a lot actually when they say something like oh okay, okay you just do it like this i'm like i fucking said that in the video yeah yeah like five seconds you didn't after watch the you other didn't thing. watch like mm -hmm. yeah but, but you got a pretty good head about it you know, it, you know I, I've, you. I've gotten much better at it and at first i was like i thought it was because like mostly when you're you know you're new and you don't have a big audience it's just like mostly positive comments of people only hang around because they like you but now like when i get some like I, I don't think it gets to me that much like i just kind of like ignore it and move on but i think that's mostly because it's mostly positive i think it's like a balance like yeah. as soon as it you get a bit more negative stuff like i did one video where i was a, a bit more political i did a thing where i was testing what rubber bullets do to your head 
in response to the BLM riots to say like, hey, like maybe the fucking police shouldn't be shooting this at people's head. Turns out they fuck you up. They fucking go <laughs> and into they blind your skull. you. <laughs> and I made this and like that was the first time I was like, oh, this is different. Like people were fucking angry at me being like, bro, like you're just fucking simplifying it. You're not from America. You're like let us fucking- <laughs> How are you simplifying Wait, ballistics? It's like, it's yeah. like, I was going to say, it's like, That's what is simplify? It's like, no, I'm just shooting the rubber bullet at a thing to show you what it does. <laughs> no, it's I like, mentioned like race- Bro, don't be so political, bro. Like, you know, black people experience police violence more. And that fucking pissed people off that I said that. I was like, I, I just looked at your thing Easy. and then I just said what it says. And then that was still offensive. Yeah. It was just like, people were angry. It's fucking like, Fuck. gross, man. That's yeah. another reason. I'm not built for this. Every yeah. every time I'm just like, yeah, I can't. I hate it. I hate, I hate how unreasonable people are. Unreasonable commenters are. It's just, it's such a, a dirty little machine yeah. that you work in. But anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> That's it? This is our 90. That's how you're doing it. In, enjoy the primo episode where what? I did a thing's going to shoot slime with a rubber bullet in the skull. That's happening right now. I think I got this one, boys. <laughs> Write your comment about what you think slime did wrong this week and let us know. We'll heart the best one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. See you later. Okay. Well, to be fair, we do have like guess a shit where you just have a, a square and there's a cow in it and then you bet 20 bucks on which section of the square they're going to shit in. What? You ever have I've that? I've never. Really? No. Who's what, we? What the oh, fuck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't say we right? like we all do this uh, with what, you. Where's my uh, American friends at? <laughs> I've is never this, had is cows this like a 4-H like thing? Is that not normal? No, this is in New Hampshire. We do this. The, like at the...